Yeah, I'm recording. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Hey, everybody. It's fucking Sock Talk episode four. It hasn't been a good start to Sock Talk episode four. It, Phil is actually pretty pissed right now. Yeah, I think I've ever been ornery in my life. No. I really haven't seen you livid very often. Well, but... I'm not really livid. I'm just kind of disappointed. No. This is disappointed anger. No. Had some technical, technical difficulties. We've been trying to set up for a while. It took a while, actually. Like 10 days. Yeah. That's why I haven't had a new one in a while. <laughs> Well, um, going to, but all right, let's let's get some, some happy news. What? How are you doing, John? I'm doing all right. Boring. All, all right. right. Let's go back. To, <laughs> okay. Uh, no. What? How the hell you been? I not haven't good. seen you. Yeah, no, we took a couple did weeks. You say off. not good or <laughs> not good? <laughs> it's so casual. K N O T. Not, not good. good. Like yeah. I've been doing a lot of not tying. Hey, you know what? I'm writing it down. Nice. All right, go ahead. Keep talking. I'm gonna write some stuff uh, down. Welcome back. Uh, we took a couple weeks off. Phil's got some notes he's going through. Um, but oh, yeah, with the mic going, sorry guys. We're just running a solo venture this week. We got no special guests this week, and uh, hopefully, you know, that's not grounds for you to turn us off completely at this point. But but uh, fair warning, right now we don't have another guest. So if you do want to stay <laughs> stay away from this podcast, now would be the time to turn away. But please don't turn away. Well, let's just try for a second to see if they do. Ready? Please listen. We're so lonely. Hold on, we gotta give them a buffer of five seconds of silence. Oh. <laughs> all right good that works all right yeah so i was kind of listening while taking the <laughs> johnny down not good k-n-o-t oh all right, all right. now i know what you're talking yeah, about yeah. i gotcha nice um but um well yeah what were you saying something about ah fuck it no I'll just be repeating it to him <laughs> um yeah i guess i'm kind of upset about let's not sending up as well as it could and seth's gonna be angry because it take that much longer yeah. to do it now we're gonna hang out all day it's like we are it's only gonna be like two hours it's gonna take like three and a half hours <laughs> and that's usually let's beat the shit out of you like, yeah on. yep with oxyclean that stuff burns it does mm-hmm. it's pretty much bleach is what it, my wife here's a little uh, inside of my domestic blah, 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 blah. it's just i don't know i feel like a dead dj like some sort of well, if like a mutant DJ where like they just genetically engineered him to do like <laughs> wacky morning guy. <laughs> we have a wiener. <laughs> yeah. Oh, DJ Dan was my actual um, crazy morning DJ for uh, my radio show. Oh, really? In college. You he had was... a wacky hacky radio DJ. Yeah, he was my he was the antithesis of um, uh, of uh, what the show was. He was <laughs> DJ Dan. Oh God. Coming live. I can't really do it as much. <laughs> do they make them do that voice? Like, is that like a? No, it's not a requirement. It's just you know, college radio was the best because no one listens or gives a crap, and yeah. that's like podcasting. You just step up. That's true. Yeah, Although we have listeners. been getting some listeners. Yeah. How, tell. Uh, oh, I guess I'll get back to the oxy cleaning shit. <laughs> Domestication time. This is the uh, the all maid service episode. <laughs> yeah. Made in New York, presented by. And it's nothing. It's not sexy maids. It's just us in maid outfits. Yeah, just pretty exactly more yeah, a little burlier like or hairier. Yeah, it's less Hungarian, but more. Um, actually, the Hungarians are pretty hairy, so yeah. maybe it's on par with the uh, the follicle follies of. Damn day ass. Yeah, yeah. Hairstyle. Uh, uh, but yeah, what was it? Um, Steph and I we clean up our apartment because we have two little pups that you probably heard on the first episode and. I love one of them, by the way. Yeah, one, one of them is, is uh, she's actually more vicious uh, with other in other aspects, but the other one, that's um, uh, Lily, is the, the cute, adorable, fuzzy, jumpy, I'm going to lick your face off kind of one, and then Bean, is, Matilda Bean is the kind of like... She did bite me. His, oh, she did she did bite again? me twice, yeah. Oh, on both, the leg? Both legs, yeah, She, both me, legs. she, she bit me it. as I woke up because she wanted me to play with her. Like, Come on, let's go. Let's go for a walk. Yeah. It's a play bite. She wants you to play. No, it is. Uh, it's, well, it's a you are. With me, you're it's like rigor mortis when you walk in the house. You're like, <laughs> okay. It's like you don't like. It. It's like what if you went up to a woman and be like, she doesn't like me, and just you sit there. Well, that's there. how I do approach women. Well, then actually. I don't know. Yeah, then it's astounding. I just like to give them those vacant dead eyes. And just be yeah. Like, hi. Yeah. <laughs> what about? I send you tit pics all the time, and it doesn't. Yeah. Well, you do. They are sexy. Yeah, it's, it's not mine. It's just got quite a, mine. quite a. It may be like a B cup. Uh, yeah, I got my man titties running, running wild. <laughs> Get them all sopped up in vinegar oil. <laughs> but, uh, no, what was it? Um, all right, so, yeah, we just, we pretty much bleach. Because you have to pick up, sometimes they don't pee on the pad or outside. Sometimes they miss, miss the boat. Or the urine the urine train just kind of makes it stop and carpet land. And I'm convinced it's that specific breed of dog. 
A lot of dogs do that. Tiny, like, it's, dogs do it territorially. Some dogs just, like, it all depends how they're brought Some up. dogs are just dicks. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> uh, no, Dachshunds, they definitely have a degree of uh, bitchy Everyone I know dicks. who has a Dachshund, you're not the only one I know. No, they're a lot. Weird, but, like, I've, a lot of them are the same way. They're very they weird be... temperamental animals. Yep. They're adorable. They have a, an incredible personality, and, like, for the people who have them, it's just a whole other ball game. But, uh, yeah. yeah, I grew up with them and all of them, but... Yeah, so that's, I guess, we clean them up, and that stuff we use, OxyClean, is bleach. So this is pretty much a roundabout a commercial. Yeah. yeah, there we go. We like to we do like to start off with commercials and end with commercials, <laughs> yeah. and today we would like to talk to you about OxyClean. I would like to be, I would like, yeah, I think we should do uh, a great degree of just kind of like doing roundabout commercials. They're like 20 minutes long, and they're just like just stupid long stories about like the retar- retardation of our normal lives, and then just like, <laughs> And, you know, we used to get rid of it, and it's like, a resolve. And that's just <laughs> just kind of, tying in with real stories, which yeah, are yeah. just like, they're less interesting than an actual commercial. Oh, just like the Truman Show, which is kind of like... Here I am, <laughs> cleaning semen out of the sheets again with OxyClean. With OxyClean! OxyClean whoa, with new semen dis- uh, dispersion. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't... Uh, that Made to service? That could be that whole new... Made to, su- yeah. made to service. Oh, there we go. There we go. I keep writing shit. Um, we're going to take little writing breaks. Just ignore what we're <laughs> yeah. doing for now. Well, it's just like this is the time where we can really like... <laughs> you can hear the scribbling. Uh, I do have a commercial, actually. It's a sequel, Made 2 Service. Made 2 Service, excellent. Um, made 2, uh, colon, slur- uh, service. Well, that's actually good. I don't like how that works. <laughs> no I one knows like what we're talking made about at squared all right squared <laughs> <and then> service. <laughs> it's science. <laughs> yeah. Science of the maiden. science of ma- maiden. <laughs> Uh, ah, we're retarded. Um, Speaking of movies, I got a, um, a buddy of mine made a movie recently. Uh, it's an independent film. You can check it out. The trailer is on Vimeo right now. Oh, okay. uh, my buddy Wayne Short. So is it made or is it? Uh, it's done. Yeah, oh, it's, wow. it, they finished. Uh, they, they already finished, and uh, the trailer's out right now. You can check it out. Just do a search on Vimeo. It's called Single Loaded Cylinder. Um, my buddy Wayne, he's playing the uh, the lead role. He's kind of like a deadbeat dad, and he gets caught up in the underground is world. Is it wrong that I laugh? It's kind dead of a dad. deadbeat dad. Yeah, well, deadbeat dads are silly. We're <laughs> yeah. going to be able to eat this week. <laughs> Shut up. All right. Go to the track. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, I love it. Oh, my horses are dead. Uh, also, deadbeat dad, I just see it like written in crayon. Like a deadbeat dads with a Z. <laughs> they look and just, E backwards E. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just my two dads, deadbeat dad. Like one of those. I'm sorry. Oh. Go ahead. <laughs> one of those sitcoms didn't make it. Body right. by Jake. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> was he in Dead Heat? No, that was Joe Piscopo. No, he, Jake, what's his name? He was in like, he had uh, grown up with 12 kids. Or no, he had like 12 foster kids or something. Really? No, but That's that was a show, wasn't it? Oh. Like, Jake, what's his name? He was like a body. LaMotta? No, not Jake LaMotta. He's a boxer. What am I? I'm an asshole. <laughs> Jake LaMotta is nothing like... People are going to run around. Jake LaMotta, what the... Like, <laughs> we'll start some sort of fire about that. But your buddy Wayne, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, he's he's playing the lead role. Deadbeat. He's kind of like a deadbeat dad. And he gets caught up in the sorry. underground world of um, Russian sorry, roulette. Sorry, Wayne, don't mean no. To oh. make some money to get his kid back. And uh looks pretty good. I'm pretty proud of my boy there. All right. Yeah, he. Uh, I talked to him at one of the Jonah... Uh, fundraiser and he was talking to me about like uh, doing a horror sh- uh, movie and I'm like oh alright like I don't have any time but well, let's talk yeah. he's, he's doing he's doing good I guess this is his third uh, his third film he's done so far and oh wow he's, yeah, he's, it's something he's always wanted to do and that's good I'm glad he's doing doing his thing check it out check out the trailer though on Vimeo do a search for it single loaded cylinder mm-hmm. and uh, while we're talking about movies we should talk about My Name is Jonah yeah talk, I feel like we don't talk about, about it enough actually well we shouldn't because there's nothing really the, I mean it's all out there I mean there's nothing to talk about nothing we should really talk about you know what I mean no I don't yeah well I mean like we I'm can a plug whore I yeah like I guess we can stuff. plug it but what else I mean we don't I mean the product um, it's, is it's still in, in development. It's in so development. I mean, yeah, it's so production. I mean, but talk about what's happening. Yeah. Talk about what happened this week, I guess. What did happen this week? Yeah, I don't know. You let me know. Are we talking about the... Uh... Uh, on break.com. Oh, yes, that's yeah. right. I was going with something else, that little email you sent. Oh, which one? The... Uh... Oh, like a week or two ago? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you don't have to talk about okay. that. But... Um... Yeah, we... Uh, a, a picture of Jonah. I don't know how it made its way, but Phil sent me this... A buddy of mine. Uh, you tell the sto- story. No, I'll just set it up and then you run with it. A buddy of mine, because you have the details more ingrained. A uh, buddy of mine, I woke up to a text like, oh, Jonah was on break.com. I'm like, oh, I've never really been to break.com, but my buddy is usually... It's a big uh, site. Yeah. It it, people, have you ever been on it before? I, no? I know of it, yeah. and I know that it's 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 a really popular site. It's really well trafficked, yeah. and... Um, <clears throat> And my buddy's usually up to date on that sort of thing. So he sent me, he's like, yeah, I almost shat my pants. Because <laughs> I was on the phone with him about it. Because nah. like, he called shortly after. 
Yeah, but yeah, go ahead. But uh, yeah, he Phil sent me over to the link to break.com, and it was a picture of Jonah with these two models, and he's all done up in his, you know, his Jonah garb. It's all Jonahed out, and uh, it was just like a, the caption in the picture was, who is this guy, or something like, Chuck Norris has his work cut out for him, and I was just kind of like, holy shit. And like the best part of the picture was it had over 70,000 views to it. Now it does, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I haven't checked it in a few days, actually, so it's probably way higher now at this point, but... It was cool because we, of course, saw fit to see it as a chance to plug our movie, and uh, yeah, the the what the trailers had way more hits ever since then. Yeah, no, oh, the trailer definitely. Like, yeah, we're from, yeah we're we're getting up there. It's awesome. Like how many like significant? Oh, this is more like oh, we're just chatting about it. We don't care about the audience. No, we just fuck want the know. audience. Oh, fine. How many more? No, fuck the audience. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll fuck all of you. <laughs> but I think it was uh, around thirty three hundred um, hits so far. Oh well, I know it was yeah. thirty one. Yeah, it went up pretty, so yeah, pretty significantly. Yeah. Wow. Um, but I, I know it's like it's our project, so it's kind of. Oh, what's up? Go it's ahead. It's kind of weird to talk and be impassioned about your project. No, I'm passionate about. Um, it. Just I like, can't wait until it's done. Yeah, of course we can't. Um, no, a lot of people were asking. I talked to Jonah yeah. recently. I hadn't talked to him on the phone in a while. And uh, yeah, I talked to him about it, and yeah, that was one of the things we were just talking about. And he obviously gives. Watch the trailer if you haven't already. My name is JonahFilm.com. Yeah. Or just look it up on Vimeo or uh, YouTube. Um, uh, the teaser and the second trailer. And, and some Comic-Con. We have some Comic-Con some footage. footage yeah. and, and there's other stuff. I forget. But um, there's an, uh, another promo on the way, I think. Yeah, we have some promos coming out. We put out some new fan art. Um, yeah, the so fan art is probably one of the coolest yeah. things 60s, we've ever been a part. Six pieces right now. And some art. significant people have been. Yeah. Like Jim Mahfood, who's done comics for um, Image marvel and some other stuff and a whole bunch of other like we've been to cons and asked people just to do it and people have just done it done yeah, it yeah, not it necessarily a been a fan a lot of people like we got a lot of attention 90 percent of all those people are, are legit people who are really interested like maybe one or two people would be like oh okay jim mafood was kind of like oh that's cool i met him before and because i knew him from well, his work, his body of work, and also when I was working in L.A. <laughs> plug. Do we have an audio plug <laughs> for L.A. Story? <laughs> Steve Martin. And, yeah, just a uh, gif of him. <laughs> um, no, but uh, I, I worked for his representation like company, and uh, he was a part of it. Or he was there. He was a client for some of the people there. And, um, yeah, he uh, he's pretty awesome, and I was talking about that. I showed him, like, oh, here's the card, and here's... Like go to the site, and I think he's seen, he's he's seen it, but he did like a quick sketch. It was really cool about it. Yeah. And a bunch of people at cons, and people outside of cons are like, "Oh, this fucking looks crazy." We have a we have a legit fan base for this movie. Yeah. It's it's really kind of cool because there's a legit fan base, and like the site will just kind of show up. Like when I do I I do all the site statistics and you know keep track of all the traffic and everything, and it's like it's cool to see like where the hits are coming from because like sometimes it'll just be from random fan sites. we will get like. 50 or so external like hits just from just some random fan that likes the movie just telling people about it on his blog or something so yeah. it's pretty cool yeah um, it's very bizarre it's kind of weird it, it, and when that break.com thing came out because he does look like a Chuck Norris type of figure and yeah, the, the caption didn't... was I think Chuck Norris has some competition yeah. and like he just has done a bunch of ridiculous stuff I mean we haven't talked about it because I mean I, I, I want to wait until the movie's done yeah plus and, if you check it out it kind of does but it doesn't even speak for itself. That's kind of the fun of it is, like, we haven't really... There's a big mystery to yeah, it. Yeah, there but really I mean, is. And I like to think people understand, like, if you don't know what the movie is about, like, fully, I believe... I would like to think you'd understand, yeah. Like, I can see where they would go. With, I could see where you could start or how you could structure this. So, I mean... I mean... It's going to be better than yeah. The Avengers. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Maybe. And bigger. It's going to be a bigger... We'll probably have a bigger growth yeah. return. Mm-hmm. It is going to be a several hundred million dollar movie. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> like the the London Bridge explosion is just <laughs> took weeks. We, have, we have so much CGI in it. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. We built a lot of practicals dealing with the <laughs> We actually the did Sphinx. build some practicals though for the uh, the, the Jonah. There's a music video coming yeah, out yeah. as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. Directed by JB Sapienza who is also currently uh cutting in the process and, of cutting and, yeah. and editing the film uh, as we speak. And he's he's doing the cutting. We're doing a group kind of get together and you know back and forth like no do this do that so i mean we, we did that in the past and that editing by committee and then he's doing the actual cutting in there so yeah, i'm very I'm, I'm so excited to see this every time like we see it like i even i see a new clip and it's like 
it's cool because even though you're part of the filming and you're there for it when it's happening, every time you see something put together and just kind of the story gets a little further along, it's just so yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, it just, I mean, with the doc, I mean, you can, we have like hundreds of hours of stuff. Yeah. It really is. With, he, he has, his, that was the weird shit too. He has his own library yeah. of his own escapades, which makes it even, obviously hearing that, you're like, oh my God. And it just makes it all the more, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, there's so much footage. It's, um, it's yeah, but it, it's kind of great. It's going to be fun. But uh, now we're done blowing ourselves. Let's. I'm not quite done yet. Yeah. But yeah. We're pretty <laughs> great. <laughs> let's get the circle it, circle it. But uh, keeping in the vein of movies, I guess I went and uh, I went and saw Chronicle last night, mm-hmm. and uh, I've been dying to see that. Chronicle. If any of you don't know, Chronicle is like it's one of those. Take a dump on my heart, movies. John. I know, and then you're not a fan of the found footage. Uh, but, um, yeah, found. I mean, just something like that. It seems like I understand what they're going for, but yeah. it's kind of like, oh, shut I up. think it works well for. But it, the problem with it is that it doesn't hold up well for like repeat viewings. I think mm-hmm. like I haven't really found one of those movies that I want to ever see again. Yeah. But they're always really good. For like a good one time, you know, viewing. I will say like people hate it for the wrong reason. Like Cloverfield, I remember I was I loved Cloverfield. Yeah, I, I enjoyed I it a lot. It, yeah. But I mean one of the kids I talked to about like kid, he was my age, but I uh, was like, Yeah, I didn't like how it was all shaky and shit. And I'm like, All right, you do realize it's what they're going point, for. Yeah. And I'm like Whatever. Cloverfield was good because it was just such a it was such a shit situation. Like that's mm-hmm. kind of if it's a, if it's done well, the shaky cam works. Yeah, but it's just like the battery like, situation is always like. I mean, yeah. there are obviously flaws in the logic. Yeah, and yeah, but you're right. like for a camera logic, but who? I mean, that's not. No one's gonna give a yeah. shit really. This part of the Cloverfield was just like the shit factor. It was like oh, it, yeah. it made a good. It did a good job illustrating the that that wouldn't be a fun situation. Be like, oh, cool, a giant monster. <laughs> it would be so much fun. It's like no, that would nope. legitimately be a terrible, terrible thing. And how delicate a city is. Yeah. I mean, just well, that's the thing. Yeah, I mean, the the viral campaign for the viral campaign. I want to fucking murder myself. <laughs> well, sorry, I don't why I care that much because um, my one critique of I'll plug, same night movie review. I love Matt from that, but I think he takes it like it's like relax, buddy. It's okay. No one cares. <laughs> it's like, um, and the same thing. The one that I do I do hate like with some sort of passion, is um. Did you just get an IM. I think I did get something, <laughs> so I just muted that. <laughs> Thanks, computer. <laughs> but no, and no disrespect for those guys, but um, same, night, same Night Movie Review, which is on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. on Ustream.com. Nice. Check them out at SMNR um, at Facebook, Same Night Movie Review. Uh, those guys, I, I love them, and they're pretty fun. Their uh, catchphrase is drink till movie's good, and they do a rating system based on doing shots. That's and like how awesome, many, actually. yeah, pretty, how many shots it takes to make it, you know, <laughs> uh, reasonable. Uh, but no, it's just kind of like, Sometimes he get mad as a character and he gets too vehement about something. I'm just like, like, oh, come on, man. Who cares? <laughs> Who gives a shit? And the whole point is like, just if you don't pay attention to it, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I guess like the term viral. Because I remember I was in once again L.A. at the time. So let's get if we have a gif, <laughs> throw up that gif. Ah <laughs> um, oh, man, I wish I had Steve. Martin's phone number. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, please. It's like, like let's talk sleeping. about Sergeant Bilko. Yeah, let's not <laughs> say we did. All right, Steve. Um, Phil Hartman, God bless his soul. Oh man. Uh, but yeah, no, no, no. It's just viral. It just it's going viral. It's like just fuck, fuck you. It's just a video online. People like it. It's going yeah. viral. You just have to label that poo poo phrase. Just give me the poo poo on my pee pee. That's yeah. all. It's all pee pee. Uh, it's poo poo dick or poo poo pee pee. Self-indulgent tripe. <laughs> That's what this whole show's about. And then viral. Oh, speaking of self-indulgent tripe, uh, please do check out Sock Talk on par- uh, Facebook now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, are um, we getting to how's the? Um, yeah, you know, I know. The, iTunes, you lazy the, fuck. the iTunes. I'm not even lazy about it. Actually, I guess I am kind of. We lazy. got a good. Uh, we got another plug coming. It was the show of fucking plugs. We don't have any actual content. <laughs> Of uh, my buddy from um, LonelyReviewer.com, Vachi Arabian, sent me a pretty good uh, explanation on how to get it on yeah, iTunes we, for we relatively get, nothing. Is, we so. will have the show on iTunes. It's It turns out, like, it's it's not as simple as going to iTunes and just being like, hey, browse, yeah. click your file, yeah. upload your file. Here, now you can check it out on fucking iTunes. You have to have, like, a Don't blog a hater. with an RSS feed that yeah. also plays MP3s and... If any of you out there have any feedback or you want to send more information on how to go about that in an easy way, please send it our way because it's a pain Do in the it. ass. But um, we are working on that, and we are on Facebook, so we're not completely bullshitting you. So mm-hmm. we're halfway there. But um, Not to be faggy or nothing, <laughs> but... That fag. <laughs> yeah. We do like... Oh, what was it? One of my favorite phrases, blown dudes and getting tubes. Or what was it? Ah. <laughs> there was another one I was thinking of. I was like, there's got to be more than one. No, blown dudes and getting tubes. James Spiral. 
Yeah, well, I'm just trying to think, like, like a surfer saying it, blowing dudes and getting twos. <laughs> and just kind of like, or no southern uh, yokel. Uh, the tan- this is what happens when Phil and I get together just for a show. If we have a third person, it's kind of like, we have Horse conversations track. structured. Kind of. Uh, we were talking about Chronicle, and now we're talking about blowing, blowing dudes. dudes and getting, getting twos. twos yeah. These are just little bits that run through my head, but I guess Chronicle, go ahead. Yeah, it's so good. I, I, sidetracked by, sorry, the I battery and logic. Much. All right. Yeah, I thought it was really well done, and uh, it's... It's basically Akira. Um, for any of you who don't know what Akira is, you should go check that out immediately. It's uh, an anime from the 80s, uh, basically about this kid who gets experimented on by the government and winds up like with these crazy psionic powers and just becomes like a complete badass problem. And um, this is pretty much the same kind of thing. Um, he, uh, they, there's like this group of three friends. They find like this crazy weird meteorite or some sort of alien object underground, and it gives them these abilities, and they start strengthening them. And one of them was kind of your stereotypical, I get picked on and beat up kind of nerd, and he freaks out and uses his power for evil. Like, <laughs> like puts it evil. It was it was pretty cool because some of the stuff they did was like the, it worked really well with the whole found footage aspect because you know it shows like them developing their flying abilities, and it's like. It was pretty fucking cool because, like, it's like a one of them would be controlling the camera psionically behind him, so it's like it'll just be hovering behind his shoulder, but he's filming them like flying. So it was like it was cool because you get to get kind of a cool vantage point on it. And do they ever discuss why they want to shoot it or make a record of it? Well, kind of because like the the nerdy kid, the kid who gets picked on, he's just kind of like he just he just my rise to his... power. Kind of. It was kind of like an ego thing. John's face just kind of sunk a bit like, yeah. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the rise to power. <laughs> I, 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 the whole end of the movie, I was just sitting there like, fucking, yeah. It was so awesome because it was just like crazy. Slapping the Slim Jims. Yeah, crazy yeah. badass powers going at it. And like, it, it's cool because it was very realistic. Like, it was just awesome Being how that well they, they have powers. It. Well, not that they have powers, even though I dream yeah, of that right. every fucking day. Uh-huh. But... Um, just the way it was portrayed was really, really cool, and just the way that they utilized them. And the kid, when he started to turn evil, was he was just so like arrogant about it, and just kind of flying hey, that's, from that's the your air. Into, you can't yeah. get arrogant. You can't get arrogant. And I remember your your Infinity Gauntlet and what happened. Yeah. I will always. Well. Yeah. Oh yeah, because what happens with Thanos? He gets Thanos. Didn't he get fucked by the Silver Surfer? Probably. Probably. Huh? Bitches always do. But he, yeah, Thanos just wound up getting the gauntlet taken away from him. He wound up like farming on some distant planet and just becoming kind of a hermit. But he was like content after because he realized he did destroy the universe. So. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. He he lives to serve Lady Death. Yeah. As uh, Thanos is the um, one of the rumored guys or um, you were telling me about that. Yeah. In, uh, the Avengers, but if that or at the end, it's when you know the cut scenes they have in the Marvel movies. Yeah. It would seem to be that would be the how can you explain to me like how that's like pieced together a little bit more like what how that came about like I know you said like no I mean it was just yeah because um I forget what it was uh oh fuck Um, isn't like the infinity gauntlet in one of the movies or yeah yeah you flatlining on me here no I'm just reading something (laughs) because Keith uh, (laughs) Keith from Craig and the Scientific Experiment actually that was that's what that beep was and oh. about the music oh nice for this that's one cool in. yeah he's yeah. gonna be doing a, an intro song for the uh, for the podcast actually we, we try to come at you guys with a um a different intro outro song from a, a new artist yeah, every each, week yeah, yeah and that's it it gets a little tough kind of yes and no but we know a bunch of people but I, you gotta keep it kind of fun yeah. the last one was by I liked the last one a lot it was, it was Jared really cool Crichton beat. um I'm trying to think of I remember his band but um you can check on last week's pod our last podcast number three and just the um uh, the youtube page but yeah all right i'm sorry um yeah we're talking, we're talking about, about chocolate <laughs> oh. uh kind of <laughs> yeah. but something just as sweet which is the avengers movie coming out yeah oh thanos supposedly at the end because like the infinity gauntlet is in like the chamber of um uh crazy goods um was this from thor yeah from thor okay. it's in there briefly and i think the eye of agamotto is in there too which oh, is no do- shit. one of dr strange's um... i need to pay more attention to that well i guess it comes by like in a in a flash so meaning mm-hmm. flash mob and or tit pick which i will one more tangent oh the finish off one of the other tangents from you know uh, found footage movies which i get i'll give chronicle a shot why not it's but, it's, um... it's really fun it's I, i'll use your t- i'm gonna keep using your term now fun but it's i thought it was really well done it was just like it was so it was so badass. It was such a cool perspective, like on how in a real in a real world situation, like 
it would be terrifying because we're talking MTV real world or yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. <laughs> every, if the Jersey Episode, Shore had powers season one or two <sighs> I'm talking early 90s oh okay like a puck like a, like a, puck a rascal Eric from the grind <laughs> that's how old I am <laughs> well, go ahead uh, which I have a funny weird story about that guy but really yeah, <laughs> yeah. why don't you go, why don't you just go yeah, just go into that nah, I'm it's curious. Not, not really that interesting but oh, um, it's just he's, uh, he was around and um yeah, he helped me through some tough times. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's more like a godparent. Uh, no, um, wow, lag. Fuck. Yeah, Thanos, supposedly. This was one story. This is actually what I was talking to you about. Yeah. Like, about with the Avengers movie. They were just, like, trying to find secrets in general. And one of our buddies, um, and aforementioned ed- uh, editors and producers on My Name is Jonah, makes a good point. Like, I want to say it's less about, like, Avengers until I actually see it. And that's not a bad idea. I mean, just yeah. go into it and watch it. And a lot of people share that sentiment. But a lot of people... Like, part of my business, I run a Facebook page for uh, a great comic book store, which I mentioned numerous times on the podcast. Comically speaking? Comically speaking, yep. In uh, Reading, Mass, on right off of Route 28. Giving our plug. That's a great, great comic book store. Yeah, actually, like, as far as they go, yeah. I mean, yes. I love visiting comic book stores in new places. Um, once again, tangent coming in, but... um. Be prepared to bat down the hatches, guys. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, we're going to be very unstructured today. Oh, my God. I just want to fucking headbutt every sort of alien race I know. <laughs> but, um, or alien races. Yeah, the scroll. Oh, they're like, saying that that's not the scroll in the fucking Well, I'll, I'll get too. to that in a okay. But, um, <clears throat> no, what was it? But comically, comically speaking, I have to be, like, up on, like, movie news for, like, comic book related stuff and pop culture stuff. Yeah. There's other weird stuff, memes. That, so I have to be constantly in flux with that and in tune with it. And I'm constantly, but I'm also kind of like, I grew up, I grew up <laughs> on the internet. I'm doing Paula Poundstone kind of weirdly. <laughs> Please do. Yeah. She's, yeah. she's funny. I actually do like her. I was listening to Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> I'm that liberal crap, bite, uh, crock bite. <laughs> what? No, I don't even know. I'm crock come bite. On, come on. Yeah, get with, Stay me. with me. All right, here we go. Uh, no, it's, um, I had to keep up with that with Comically Speaking. Yeah. And, um. One of the things, I, growing up with uh, the interweb being at, like, low bandwidth speeds. Uh, with the old 56K. Yeah, with uh, superherohype.com before it went crazy to comingsoon.net and sites like Ain't It Cool News. Like, yeah. back in the day, like, in the mid to late 90s. It doesn't seem that long ago, but it was, like, my high school days when I really first started looking at stuff online. Yeah. And, like, I'd look, like, I remember Cinescape.com, too, and they always, like, waiting for the X-Men movie, the oh, first yeah. X-Men movie. Like, oh, all the rumors coming up for that. So I've been kind of ingrained to do all sorts of stuff like that. Oh, what? Oh, no, I just remembered. I'm, I'm so totally, oh. I'm so sorry to interrupt you. We were no, just no. talking about movies, and, like, I just remembered last night when I went to the movie, I managed to snag a Prometheus poster, a oh, theatrical weird. poster from the theater. Oh, that's awesome. They gave me one. I, look. I just remember. It's fucking awesome. I just remembered that, and it just made me so happy that it's in the back of my car right now. Oh. <laughs> Please continue. <laughs> right. I apologize. Hey. <laughs> Nerdgasm. Oh, God. I liked it, too. It's good. Sign. We talked about those first yeah, podcasts. I can't It'll wait be a that. decent summer of movies, of nerdly movies. But, uh, yeah, um, but yeah, that's what I pretty much grew up in. If any of you guys remember Cinescape.com, it was like a magazine, and they turned... They were actually pretty good and up-to-date. Yeah. I, remember, I remember keeping in tow with the uh, the development of the Spider-Man movie back when it... Because it was mired in, like, legal... Uh, uh, Purgatory. Yeah, pretty much, uh, pretty much. It was, for um, years. Yeah, it was just entangled in legal web with yeah. uh, the buzz term. <laughs> I was forced to use by everyone. But no, no. But then when it came um, unglued, and Sony became the victor, it was like it was weird. Like that was a big story. Like stuff like that. And that stuff still happens today. But it wasn't. It was. It, it was kind of on a daily basis. But not as many places broke the news. And it's weird. It's like there's a good uh, quality to that, and there's a you know bad one. And there was. It seems like maybe more movie sites are are more courted. Yeah. Are actually the guest was supposed to be here today. I had conversation with them in college and afterwards about how like movie sites like. Ain't it cool news might might be more part of the problem as opposed to the solution in a way because yeah because you just well it's just the internet in general you got to, it's just like you, you want to kind of maybe you, you want to not know about the movie but you're just so curious or like well, it's just in your face if it's a site you frequent all the time it's that's just, another dimension of it yeah, it's uh, like oh do I really want to click on that spoiler <laughs> yeah. like, uh, well that's not that's not even what I was referring to oh okay you know, just put I mean I was referring to them just being in tow with the um, underground promotion or the online promotion of everything. And that's, I mean, that's, and a lot of sites are in Congress with, uh, or in concert, I should say, with, um, uh, with all these other famous, uh, all, 
all these sites that just have a lot of traffic, and they, they that's their job to go out there and get the movie out. So mm-hmm. I don't necessarily blame them, but it, just, it morphs into a thing where you can't you can't really tell a, a story that's kind of like biting and or like some do some. I mean, just like any news news or organization, you gotta kind of filter through and see all the bullshit. Like, okay, yeah. who are they owned by? Um, what do they have the stand to gain with this with this story? Rage right between the lines, you know, and research for yourself as best you can. But it seems like with movie news, and this is kind of as trivial as it gets with movie news, it's not as <laughs> yeah, but we love not as sharp as it used to be. No, yeah. but uh, there's a lot of shit out there, and it's still yeah. pretty cool. But I guess the basis for that conversation is having that tendon <laughs> roundabout, having that tendency to look deep for movie news and rumors. I found something that talked about how. You know, maybe it isn't the scrolls that are in it, and it's an alien race called the Redacted. So, um, the Redacted is actually, uh, I mean, Redacted gets put on uh, all sort of internal documents if it, in case something gets out, or, mm. just, or <laughs> and the talkbacks were making fun of, the, the alien race is called the Redacted. It's like, oh, they also called the yet-to-be-named, or something, you know. Something else. Yeah, this is a common term they use to refer to something. Refer or just like to they want black to out something. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, but it you know the alien race is there and Loki's army, as people yeah. have seen through like the extended Super Bowl trailer, and uh, so for the good. Avengers and so um, yeah. And, uh, so with that, and then Loki, he, like he finds the scrolls or whoever the alien race is uses them, then has to deal with. Had, is making a deal with Thanos to get him the Infinity Gauntlet or whatever. What? Dude, if that, that's like the cut scene at the end. Oh my god, if that is legitimately the plot, that's... That'd be pretty fun. Oh, if you throw Thanos into the mix, yeah. that's just like a whole... They could, if they if they made like a Infinity Gauntlet movie or something after that... I mean, but I'm, I don't know. I mean, what they do best and what they have to do is make things as cheaply as they can. Yeah. And that's kind of like... That's that would be new, crazy. That's a whole new bag. Well, this is like... This is the do. thought of seeing this movie. Like, I think I'm so excited about this because just like the thought of it even that being made is awesome to me. Yeah. Like, that's a big production. Like, that's a lot of... Yeah, I mean... That's a lot of talent and it's that's a lot, a lot of egos screen. and a lot of money. Yeah, I mean, they, they've done it by cutting away by not having... I mean, they started by not having having stars who have made it before. I mean, Chris Evans has been there before. Uh, Junior is, um, Rob Downey Jr. is, he was obligated for five films, and I think the same for, um, you know, Evans or whatever. And, you know, they all signed a contract for multiple films, and who knows when those, that contract is up yeah. or how much more they'll ask for and if they'll just, like, revamp it or whatever. And that's what happens. And that's uh, what happened with Spider-Man franchise. will probably happen with the Batman franchise. I'm kind of... Did you see that you saw the new trailer for the... For Spider-Man, right? The new one. That yeah, 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 yeah. It's like weird because I'm trying not to get psyched up about those movies because I I don't really like the other ones. I don't really like the original trilogy very much. Yeah, I don't. Andrew Garfield is more like Shia LaBeouf. Like they're trying to make you know what I mean. It's yeah. not like a Shia LaBeouf clone when Spider-Man's trying to be snappy. Yeah, and that's not at all what I picture him as a snappy guy. Not a douche. No. Like it would have like <laughs> yeah. he's like he's an asshole. There's a difference between being a douche and being an asshole. Yeah. I think this is the class we can <clears throat> teach. Uh, to numerous people on numerous levels, but no, yeah, that's I don't know, man. Yeah. I don't um, find that uh, I just yeah I don't know. You know what I did see? Um, I just saw recently that I had been wanting to see for like a well over a year, and I finally just bought it on Blu-ray when it came out the other day. It was uh, Drive? Oh yeah, you were telling me. About and uh, if you haven't seen, if anybody out there hasn't seen Drive, I just I don't even recommend renting it. I just recommend buying it because it is fucking awesome, and that movie deserves every penny it makes. Like I. It's it legitimately on one viewing went to the top of my list of like all time. Just it just went right up there. A lot of people love it. They say it's a deep flick with a lot of great acting. Ryan Gosling continues to prove to me that he's a legit actor. I had, I had honestly good. never seen anything with him in yeah. it because I, I know he does a lot of like you know more. He's in some girl or, stuff. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's like a more of a, a girl actor. I think it's like the you know a girl actor. The ladies love for him. girl. Yeah. But Not for dudes. He was legitimately. Oh, you fucking think about it. One of the best badasses I've ever seen in a movie. Yeah. Like the way, just the way his character was. And I've heard so many people argue, it's just like there's no character development, and like, well, who gives a shit about the character? And it's like that's what you don't understand. Is like, it's just the way he is is what's intriguing about it. Like he'll, the way he'll just confront somebody. And it's just like he doesn't speak very much, and that's what's cool about well, it. Like, he'll just stare through somebody. Char- character development has to do. I mean. <laughs> clean it up. <laughs> It'll come. <laughs> just lick my finger to clean part of the computer. <laughs> uh, cleanliness. But um, no, yeah, it comes through just you know everything. Yeah. Know, the composite of the character of like the scene and and that the was, it is a well filmed movie because like it's it's 
catered specifically it's filmed specifically to showcase just how much of a fucking badass he is and like like the, the way the dialogue set up is like if someone's trying to like you know if you got like a crook or something who's trying to talk to him and he just does, doesn't say anything and he'll just look at them and stare through them until they start talking just to fill the awkward uncomfortable silence that's like building up just because of how intense he is and it's just really fucking awesome and I highly recommend that movie. It's just so good. And it was weird seeing Albert Brooks, of all people, as like a, a villain. And he was really good. Yeah, that's like, really I'm good. really excited. But I, some, I didn't know awesome he was movie. in the movie. And, and the soundtrack, it had like kind of like a Tron-esque kind of soundtrack. Like it's yeah. just got like this really fucking awesome, like just weird kind of, not like techno, but like just kind of this weird like beat vibe kind of soundtrack that just makes the movie just that much better it's just i don't know it's just see see drive it's fantastic and uh what else what else is really the thing the uh, thing prequels did you see that yet no i haven't i don't really have a as much of a desire do you like the thing the uh the one with kurt russell uh yeah oh i love that one yeah well this was it's... i'm paying attention <laughs> i'm answering like an email and trying to Sorry. Not fair enough. But, um, yeah, The Thing prequel was kind of... It was one of those movies uh, I had no desire to see. Mm-hmm. I saw it in the theater, but I had no desire to see it just because of how much I love The Thing. And I yeah. just figured it would be blasphemous prequel CGI garbage. Like, most stuff that's made nowadays, it's horror-related. Ducks? Those are ducks. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I think I heard it. All right, um, go ahead. But the, the thing is, like... squirrel or nothing? It legitimately... It's a legitimately good movie, and... Uh, it has a flawless transition into the events that led up to um, the thing, the original thing movie. And um, it was just really cool to see all that happen seamlessly. Like, they did an awesome job with the story. And Are the, you uh, sure? I'm positive. Yeah. Oh, I get it. I get <laughs> just making a microphone joke, guys. Sorry. <laughs> But uh, even the monster was really cool. It was like a totally yeah. different monster because if you remember the the thing with uh, Kurt Russell, the monster was really just – it didn't want to be discovered. It was very – yeah, yeah, it was nervous and it was c- careful about what it was doing. And, it was pretty cool, guys. Yeah. Let's... And this one, um, <laughs> this one, he's like crazy. He's just like out of the ice and scared and crazy and just like uh-huh. it's just, you know, it, it's a he. Well, he, come on, gang. it's an it. Come on, thing. it's a. Th- <laughs> it's a <laughs> but I was, I was, I was really surprised with how good it was. And they use yeah. a lot of practical effects. There's a lot of good latex in it. Um, but you know, they That's do use. Great about it. Yeah, the CGI is used sparingly, but it's used well. So. It was very, and it's good CGI, so it doesn't, it never looks bad, and uh, just it, no, no, I thought it was a really good, good, good solid prequel, and um, even they used like to see the original John Carpenter music and a lot of it, and it was, it was really, yeah. it was really good. I was pleased with it. Well, there so. you go, reviews by John. That's I hope right. Everyone had a fucking great time. <laughs> the flow worked great. I'm gonna go now. Yeah, <laughs> this has been a great show. Uh, yeah, it's been, you know, we were talking about we're a little lethargic today. It just seems like the day's kind of shitty and just yeah, setting I'm up. Just, was, I'm, I'm legitimately tired today. It's been anyway, a long but, week, too. Yeah. Uh, spooning. Yes. It really goes. But no, I, it was, I remember you said this is cathartic for you and this get, I mean, there are stuff you just needed to get out. You just need to tell the world. You got to let us know now. <laughs> um, I was like, okay, whatever, buddy. With a wink and a smile. <laughs> And we went to bed. <laughs> uh, oh, I, it's not the right. Oh, this week is such a weird, like the Avengers, the Super Bowl, all that stuff. Uh, Part the, of me doesn't care because it's already phased. I'm out. almost like overwhelmed with media lately. Like you I, I kind of, I hit a, I hit a, I just hit a wall this past couple, like a couple weeks ago. I just hit a wall with like media. I just, I was just taking <laughs> it what so mean? much of it. Like you're such a weirdo. I started getting like, into like that whole. You know, we we last yeah. week we had uh, last time we had Jared on and we talked yeah. a little bit about like conspiracy theories and all that stuff and like mm-hmm. I started you know our conversation piqued my interest in that well, stuff. Where did so you I go? Where did you tell me? Uh, um, no therapy. You know, I listened to um, I like the Joe Rogan podcast. I'm a big fan of his podcast because it's all it's just, the guy's just like a meathead and he's you know he's an expert fighter and it's just he apparently now that I think we talked about this he was a drug advocate and then yeah he used to pretty much when he was on news radio with Andy Dick he used to like give him the business the business about smoking pot yeah and well he should just always be is. like doing a show high and stuff like that yeah, uh, yeah now he is not yeah. uh, news radio yeah Fear Factor as news well news radio yeah. he was talking about how uh, Andy Dick talked about how he would come give him the business about because Andy Dick and I all the time yeah 
And he was just like, yeah, I mean, Joe Rogan was such an anti-pod head. Yeah, yeah he's talked about that weird. too, about how yeah. he just kind of switched gears as soon as he didn't realize it was awesome. Yeah, yeah. well, that's, <laughs> so. usually, that's usually how that goes. Yeah. But, um, yeah, go ahead, but, you, Joe I'm, Rogan. Yeah, I'm a big fan of his podcast because it's, it's usually just it's just clever caveman talk and like he'll have a lot of um oh, yeah. he'll have clever great guests thing. on have like yeah he'll have graham hancock on or he had this um hancock i got a couple words for that guy, <laughs> he had I this don't guy, mind um, guy but i think he's got graham hancock yeah i don't know it's always the it's always the stuff not i mean just one second i swear i'll remember what i'm saying <laughs> no it's like oh yeah some of that stuff you say sounds interesting but where is the other evidentiary support to back some of that up I mean yeah. just throw stuff at me yeah. and usually when because he talked one of the interesting things he talks about and you know about me and other scholars and it's like okay Brit it's like because you have a British accent I'm not going to take your word for valor <laughs> I always do <laughs> I'm always a sucker that's uh, one of our buddies Colby Peterson talks about how oh yeah put the British anchor on because we'll, <laughs> the American will <laughs> find it less uh, you know I find it more legit um, no but I like his theory about Egypt. Well, I think this is, you know, after a certain ice age, you know, all these... Egypt was partly underwater. Like yeah, was... or just like they found, like, the civilization started again in Egypt. Yeah. And, like, I, I do like the theory, like, well, the study of the science of history. Yep. I think that's very important, not to remember where we all came from. And just, like, as I was choking with my boss here uh, this past week, like, you know, like Dune. Dune, and one of the big things about Dune, I don't know if you ever read it. I've never actually read it. I haven't read the book, no. I've read stuff about... Won't read like certain like huge uh, like novels or huge like pop culture phenomenons, but I'll read about like oh what this might what it might you're, be. You're you're intrigued by it, but you don't yeah. want to put the effort yeah, into it. Exactly yeah, you know exactly what you mean. Um, and I should read them, but just like interpretation of like oh yeah, part of their, that story is humanity forgets where it came from, like in the universe, like yeah. like where we're at now. I think that's part of what we've done in a lot of ways, like. Maybe the, the records are there, and like as my dad has always told me as a kid, stop touching yourself. But he also <laughs> said, uh, you know, all the information is out there. You just yeah. need to, you just need to find it. And it's true. Like yeah, a lot of stuff, and what Hancock talks about, and what intrigued me more, more along the lines of, okay, this seems like something I can actually look at, or seems more concrete. Like how uh, him and other um, historians believe that. Uh, most of the damage on the Sphinx and all the other pyramids seems to be more... I mean, you're talking about uh, 2,500, maybe, give or take, a couple hundred years. Yeah. Uh, well, a lot of it was just because there's supposed to be a lot of bullet holes in the Sphinx, too, because there was oh, a lot of... Oh, like, about that. Well, there's supposed to be, like, a lot of recent conflicts. Oh, from okay. It. Like, you know, it's, it's taken a lot of... It's well, seen a lot of battle over the his, years. Yeah, that place is mirrored and just kind of... Yeah. Once again, used that... Or mired, obviously. Not mirrored, Jesus. Um mired in kind of uh, violence and yeah, Africa's a overthrow. sketchy continent all around yeah and it's weird Egypt I mean it is Africa but yeah, yeah. I, I consider that just as Middle East is because yeah. it's pretty much a connector to the Muslim world and the, I mean Muslim world exists in a lot of places but I mean like Africa and Middle East I mean uh, Egypt is a great bridge really to that yeah I mean I and I make the connection for uh, Egypt and Palestine too because you know they're you know the holy war of uh, yeah. the 1970s um, but I guess the whole thing, rain damage was a big thing he brought up and talked about how, like, it seems like more of the damage to that place is torrential. Torrential downpour, just, like, over over larger periods of time and rain damage. And I think that sounds interesting. I think, like, you know, because Africa used to be lush. It used to be fucking... Yeah. It used to be dope. It used to be, <laughs> it used to be up there, man. Well, supposedly, like, up, like four feet so up high on the Sphinx, there's, like, you know, signs of, um, you know, water erosion. And, yeah. Uh, because they're saying that it was underwater at some point it was oh, like wow. the whole it was just like a lush valley and yeah you know, well it was that a flowing river the nile there. that the yeah. crescent valley like the nile yep. and um, mesopotamia like i mean that's where cradles of civilization or new civilization and that's i think that's always the cool like you know, they're also fodder for great sci-fi stories and yeah stuff, absolutely you know? And uh, yeah, but I mean, like Hancock. I mean, what else did uh, Rogan? Have? He has a whole bunch of people. He always, yeah, he's like, a, it's always good because like you never know what you're gonna get. That's why I like it is because I'll, you know, I've, I've, I like fighting and stuff like that as well. So it's like it's like cool because sometimes, on the street. yeah, it's just <laughs> right. like random encounter. No, but like boxing, kickboxing. You know, yeah. I got a little bit of a martial arts background, so it's like I like that sort of thing, and I like how you'll always get like. It's, was he a fighter at one point? Yeah, he, he was a. Um, he was a really good. Uh, he did taekwondo, and now he does like jujitsu and stuff like that. And he's like a really good jujitsu. He trains with like GSP and all. Now, those is other it a guys. short man's disease kind of thing? Because oh, is he is it a short man's disease sort of thing? Oh, just like the need to you asking me that personally? Well, oh, I think right it's now. a combo because yeah. he is like small too. He's a small yeah, he's dude. a little guy. Um, but he's like yay high. 
Yeah, I don't know. I'm totally for those who don't know or who have met me. I'm five foot six. I'm not a very big guy, yeah. but I do weigh two hundred pounds. Yeah. <laughs> it's um, all the need. No, it's psychological itch. Yeah. But yeah, there might be something to that because I know I like working yeah, out, being physical. Either, but so I mean, I mean, um, but yeah, it's it's another cool part of the show. Is like I just you know I like to hear about fight talk and UFC stuff, and but at the same time, you'll have like a scientist come on who's like a legit renowned scientist, and it's now here's. It's cool to listen to. Well, here's the question: Does every time like he goes to a commercial, we're just like, does he have like the button to push and just like a punch sound? <laughs> He's like, wait, let's punch it up, and like he has like these quirky no, he doesn't no. have any of those and the slide shows. Yeah, whoa, Ooh, slide whistle. Yeah, everybody. But uh, he had this really. Uh, I heard a really good one this week. Um, his, his show. I've been stepping in and out of it because like anything. Are you we really going to gonna spend twenty minutes about talking about Joe Rogan's podcast well, about our own? Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's all right. I don't care. It's, it's, it's really... a segue into, you know, we're, I'm trying to segue into something clever. I'm, <laughs> I'm legit ornery and thinking to myself, we're not talking about anything. I mean, nah. what's the difference between any podcast? But Well, that's true, but I'm just... Go ahead. One of the uh, one of the guests he had on this week um, it was cool because it was, they were talking about technology and how technology is yeah. evolving and just where it might go into the future and how it's just kind of... Is that turn. why you had that video from that uh, guy yeah. talking about Kurt Swell and all? Yeah, I just thought it was a it was a cool video. His name, his name was John Silva. Um, he was a really clever guy and some interesting viewpoints. Sounds but. great. I'm not looking at my watch right now. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. So really <laughs> Let's go into dick jokes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about dick jokes. But the technology of dick jokes. Of yes. Evolved. But I, I just I just got all fascinated by the whole idea oh, of um, biological. Uh, yeah, nano. I'm telling you, mech. Technology, yeah. Mech. That's a good yeah. comic by Warren Ellis, and I think that's the wave of the future. Nice. I want to do that movie. Yeah. But I want to mech John. <laughs> Keep saying, but I do. I don't want to take care of my teeth. That's what I'm saying. I want to have a metal child bite anything. I got to think about teeth. I don't like teeth. If there's a scene oh, in a movie that has something to do with teeth, it oh, creeps me the fuck out. You'll hate Shook because there's a, a, a you know, rattled tooth. Yeah, one of the most, because it's, you know, like biting into a fucking popsicle. It's like that thing, just thinking about it gets me. Yeah. Like squinting and yeah. you know what I also can't stand, which is kind of a fucking pussy thing to not be able to tolerate. What the sound of an eraser on a chalkboard, just that dry. Oh, really? Not the nail, just or the feeling of a powdered donut in my fingers. I swear to God, you just wake up and like that's like my kryptonite. You just creep me out if you just come up to me in the streets and just put a powdered donut in my hands or just go in a fetal position. What if it's just your niece? It's like, oh, we need to watch the kid this week tonight. It's like, oh, she just has like a bucket of powdered donut. They just give it to her. <laughs> so I'm off her putting it in her mouth and just like, oh, it's like a little sand bucket of them. That kid is awesome, by the way. My niece rules. Oh. I, I know I was hating on her last episode. I have authority on it that she does not rule from another. <laughs> not yet, but she will. The Cato Institute. <laughs> did a study on her. She will. Uh, someday. <laughs> as soon as she's old enough, I can't wait to like teach her stuff. Cause, Are like, you teaching her how to fight? Is yes. That what you're I can't wait. As soon as she's. Staff? Both down. Down. We give her nunchuck skills. That Napoleon Dynamite kind of segment. And as soon as she's old enough to, as soon as she's got yeah. her, like a balance about her a little bit better, I'm gonna start teaching her some stuff, and it's gonna be awesome because hopefully that means her father and I don't have to stay in shape until yeah. we're like 50 and threaten her boyfriends. Yeah, it would be a good like Sonnenberg film. But um, <laughs> what was it? What I'm kind of thinking. All right, here's something I'll throw at you that uh, the guest was supposed to be here, and Mike. Uh, yeah, that's right, Mike. There's bitterness. You fucked us, Mike. Yeah, you fucked us. You fucked us good. <laughs> but uh, no, just we had this weird, uh, funny conversation in college, which is pretty much all we the conversations we had about. Because uh, at the time, I, I have kind of a niece by proxy that I have, uh, because my brother married uh, a, a woman who um, had a kid from a previous relationship. So that, I mean, you know, she's like my stepniece. She's a smart you. kid, too. Yeah, she's great. I love her. But, um, one of my my buddy Mike and I we had this conversation like and he he brought up you know sparked the conversation do you think we'll ever be those guys like in our 50s like ah oh, yeah look at the rack like on like my niece's friends or whatever <laughs> like the pervy old guy realm and I'm like yeah we do that now it's just like there's nothing really uh, not necessarily to the age of them but just kind of like it's not going to change we're going to still look at 18 year olds and oh, just we're going to be creeps fucking forever yeah it's not going to really like <laughs> We're gonna adapt that. Um, yeah, oh, I really man. want to adapt like a stereotype though. Like, <laughs> yeah. like if she has like a date who just rolls in, mm -hmm. and just playing, you know, being there with my buddy Jake, her father's Jake, and like we just roll in together and just sit there and like just greasy white beaters eating like <laughs> yeah. a fucking pulled pork sandwich or something, and or just, just like, like have a comb over like a um, a stuffed deer and just start combing it, or just <laughs> some sort of like fucking Wolverine, just cleaning guns. Yeah, like used to have fun, huh? <laughs> yeah. 
Oh my god, look, my bullets. I, I'm honestly just, I'm praying that she turns into, out to be a lesbian. Yeah. I think that's the best case scenario. Well, you know, what if, a, a what if a big old lesbian breaks her heart? And or just finds a lesbian, what are you going to do? That's you okay. Turn her straight. Well, yeah, that's no, okay. that's a weird double standard. I would be, I would have the same shotgun. It would just be a dildo on the end. <laughs> just rotating like, I know what to do. I know to take you to the next level. <laughs> that's what you've been you know, missing. Like, <laughs> dildo crossbow. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. Blah, 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 blah. What, yeah, you had to go against lesbian vampires. And just the only way to go is just underneath, under the undercarriage. Because their heart lies within their Copyright. vulva. Yeah, you heard it here first. Vagina. Um, oh, what, what would you call it? Or vex? Or vagina vex? <laughs> or some sort of like shot through the heart but you're to blame yeah you're to blame you give vagina vampire vaginas or maybe it would just be called vampire vaginas <laughs> maybe that would just be the, the crux of it whoa I'm and you down. put a cross up there let's film it yeah it would be yeah it'd just be yeah alright it would probably be like porn or just like like a shade below or above or in between Oh my god, did we talk? Yeah, we talked about we talked about <laughs> we porn got already. Checklist. Yeah, we really do have fucking. We're really today uh, lapping. Yeah, we're, um, we're sucking today. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's podcast. I mean, I think I tried to up the ante with lesbian vampires, or just no. If you, but I think like once again, I think it is a double standard of being like if she's lesbian, it's cool, and like we won't worry about that. It's other very one. cool. If she's it's, a lesbian. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I guess the whole point is we won't worry about like the lesbian breaking her heart or just trying to put a hand up her dress. Or down her dress, or around her dress, or just the geography of the dress. I might not be completely sure on, but I've touched a woman before. <laughs> Get off my back, podcast. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I, all right. Exploring that, I think that's kind of interesting, especially like uh, Washington passing. Um, the, and these are obvious topics that we're kind of feeding each other because we're like, oh, we got nothing to talk about. <laughs> Kill me now. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. And, and John and I had the conversation like, what the fuck are we going to talk about podcast eight? And it's just like it comes to that wall. I think having people here is always good because we can bounce. Stuff. Yeah, it keeps things fresh. But well, there's a billion things we could talk yeah, about. I know. You're right. But all right. Back to let like <laughs> John's got to drag me back in. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. But it's yeah. All right. Gay rights. Um, equal rights for uh, gay marriage. Yeah, they just passed Washington. the bill where it's like in the military now you can be. Didn't they just pass that? Uh, actually, no, no. I remember Rick Santorum said something crazy. I mean, Shocker said something crazy about him. Um, it isn't crazy, but it's just kind of like, who gives it? It's just silly and stupid. And who the whole thing shit? is silly. Oh, about like... Politics in general. Oh, yeah, I guess. It's all fucking nonsense. There's, there's, there's a fun bullshit to it, but there's also like... I was getting really into it. <laughs> like, a couple weeks ago, I was like getting your, really into it. Like politics exercise program. Well, like, it was just... I was... I was well, can we... I'm well, sorry, go ahead. Can I... I know. We'll, I, we'll go back and we'll... The lesbianics of the whole situation. We don't have anything to talk about now. we got two more to talk about. It's all right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they passed uh, uh, the right... Uh, for gays. <laughs> G-A-Z-E, as they'll call it. Um, to be married... In Washington, it was great, and they reversed Prop 8. I think the federal Supreme Court reversed a Prop 8 decision, which, yeah, I mean... It's ridiculous that that's a law in the first, but who well, cares? Yeah, I, yes, and it's just kind of like, oh, we'll give this shit. I mean, no one... It's 2012. Yeah. <laughs> Mary would marry a fucking... No, I, marry whatever you want. Yeah, I think using the 2012 excuse is bullshit in itself, but I mean, it's just well, like... I guess. Well, it's just like... The Negroes were okay <laughs> yeah, up true. until the 50s. Get a fire hose. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bulldog Connor, giving it to you straight. No, but it's the same thing. It's just like subhumanoid gays and blacks. Oh, that's and ridiculous. Latinos. No. Although I love to see those di the guys dance. <laughs> um, no, yeah, it's just a fucking, it's the weirdest thing. It is a human rights issue because it's like, yeah. why wouldn't, like, yeah, love is love or whatever. Or as yeah. Robert Evans would who, say, who, it's cool with me. Who gives a shit? Marry whoever you want. It's like... Except I hate all homosexuals. But that's a whole different issue. <laughs> Actually, no. You know what? Fuck it. You could hate them, but still be like, yeah, get married. I don't give a shit. You can be... Yeah. You two homos can be homos together. I just love using the term homo. It doesn't it's fucking weird. make a difference to me whatsoever. It doesn't affect my life in the least bit. If you... If whatever you're doing... If you it do live on a gay compound, though. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's It's true. <laughs> Yeah. I'm sorry. I just picture, like the like New Hampshire world's gonna end compound, but it's a whole gay like um, uh, like all bearded guys like <laughs> bikers. Bears. Like, what the fuck? Big bear community. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of bears up there in the woods. Uh, yeah, you could say that. You could say yeah. that. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, flannel with yeah. disco music playing. <laughs> the, oh shit! Another one. Bear necessities. There we go. Write that down. All right. You people will see what we're talking about at some point in the years to come. But. Yeah, the, Sorry. it's just a writing session. We have. <laughs> just on tape. Yeah, I mean, who the fuck you want? Who cares? Like, but I was uh, getting into politics and all that stuff. 
like a couple of weeks ago, like I was getting really into it because, you know, I was getting all into the whole Ron Paul thing and it was just like listening to a guy talk rationally. It was, it was all, it was interesting to me. Like it caught my attention because everything he said was rational and made sense. He was just like, yeah, I'm all for seatbelts, but I don't think you need the federal government telling you that there's a law that you have to wear yeah, one. I, I think that's, well, it's very John Stu and Millsy as a whole. Like it was like a, it was, it was all common sense. It was like, well, yeah, free take, will. Think for uh, yourself and have the ability to take care of yourself. Well, free will, unless it hurts someone else. Exactly. And that's unless it's such a fucking simple, well, brilliant also concept. It's an insurance company fraud thing. People have made the argument. <clears throat> I think that there's a degree of truth of it in Massachusetts. Cause we're pretty mass tax Massachusetts or, and what's, as one of my buddies put it, what's the biggest building in downtown Boston? I don't know. I'm not from Mass. Well, Prudential. Oh, okay. And Prudential is an insurance company. Right. So, I mean, like, that should tell you something. Yeah. It's like the, you know, the fucking You I guys Ordo. pay taxes out the ass down here. It's no, ridiculous. we do. We get a lot for it, but there's a lot of shit that goes on that, you know, it's you got to pay for city living. Some places are worse than others yeah. but new hampshire has a fucking shitty property tax well that's like that's the only that's the trade-off yeah that's the only trade-off though is like you don't really pay tax for anything else though it's no i mean that's but that but and everything's really up for it though it I mean, does you don't own anything yeah but everything's you don't really own anything john <laughs> everything's really nice up there that's I don't know anything, anything here anyway so it doesn't matter <laughs> but it's uh, just kind of a weird i don't understand how it works up there because new hampshire is like a, it's a really nice state it's very it's not. It's there's not really a lot of cities in New Hampshire. Um, you, know, you get oh, Manchester, Manchester Constant, Concord, Salem, kind of. They're both. They're both. You no, know, I used to say they're kind of big, but they're they're both relatively clean and yeah. well kept cities. And it's they like, say wider after dark. Boston's a pretty nice city though too. Um, but, yeah, it's not bad. I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on, and not to say New Hampshire's racist, but it's just kind of New Hampshire is kind of a New England has a. It's just New England in general, yeah. I think though. But, I, um, I know we've talked about this before. Yeah, with New Colleen Hampshire, yeah. New England bigotry, but um, <laughs> yeah, yada yada yada. Yeah, but no, I kind of I, I cry. I jumped out of the politics wagon. Like I got into it really quick, and then like I was you immediately say, like, like, you were, out like that of was it. your track. Like that was. Oh yeah, I was clearly I was fucking campaigning, but no, like I, I, I got up. really fascinated by it. and I started doing a lot of research, and then like mm -hmm. then you see like that one post by somebody. You'll like be online or something. Like, you'll see that one post. It's just a completely fucking ridiculous statement with nothing, no facts or anything behind it. Yeah, it's just a complete slanderous, nonsensical statement. It just but, ruins – you can't even get into an argument about it because as well, soon as you do, okay. it turns into a shitstorm of – But then why would you base everything on that then if it's so, so well, like, the not reason, consequential? Well, it, it's not consequential, consequential, but at the same time, it's very consequential because it kind of becomes like this weird – it, it's just turned into a tangent of nonsense, and it's it. Well, but here it, we are. More people get sucked into <laughs> so it. So says uh, the the podcast of the tangent of that. that. Is, no, I'll shut the uh, fuck well, up. You no, just make a point, but no, I I understand what you're saying. I mean, it it definitely, it's disheartening. Yeah, I say, of course. Because you know you you, you want to have a, you want to have a legitimate, intelligent conversation because you know you're interested in it, and you know it's it's matters of concern everybody. And then it all takes is that one idiot, and then just the conversation just yeah. it it just continuously fall. It's like a slinky; it just falls down yeah, the stairs sure, until I mean, just it just limply you, falls on the ground. <laughs> okay, it takes you to a shitty place. But yeah. Then again, you have to listen to everybody. No, oh, you mean, do. You, you don't necessarily have to do whatever. Idiots says. do get opinions. That is a problem. Well, I mean, that's but, the whole thing. I mean, everyone put it. I mean, that's subjective in so many ways to everyone else. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I understand, but I mean, then again, you can't. You have to just do what you think is right, and then from and then there. just but like all the mudslinging that, that comes along with politics is like yeah, but it, like yeah. I, you know you get it. I was all into the Ron Paul thing, and then it's like all of a sudden like the news. He started building up some popularity, mm -hmm. and then the news, of course, you know how like you know how politicians he, will he throw legit, slander at each other. No, of course he had, does definitely have legit anti-homosexual and anti uh, slight racism to him too. His stance on abortion might be the best for me but i mean i say all abortions all the time and just, <laughs> abortions for some um, <laughs> abortion. yeah. the american flag that's, that's another thing i think you yeah. should be able to do whatever you want like I, as well, if far it doesn't as hurt if, anyone if it else doesn't, yeah, it doesn't hurt it doesn't affect you directly mm -hmm. i mean who the fuck cares but i care it just it turned me off to politics altogether because the more i started thinking about it i was like it's just it's a figurehead everyone just kind of needs this one figurehead to tell them what to do and rule them and to, it's just oh, govern them like and it just doesn't make sense. It's like, we what are you think trying to say, buddy? To do. Well, what about the internet? The internet seems like a better, <laughs> yeah, better way to run things. We we fought that. We won. We won the internet. Oh yeah, the SOPA thing. The, we never really well, talked I mean, about that either. No, we never really talked about that. There's another. There was another bill, PIPA. 
Yeah. I think. So I'm Pippa, I yeah. think Pippa, Peepa. You say Peepa. I say Peepa. <laughs> but it's just weird. it's weird seeing like I had to take a little break from just the news in general because it was just it was getting really Whoa. stressful. I'm sure they missed you, John. The news is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> just, uh, anyway, that's insulting. Have, well, I mean, it seems like you have like this. I had to take a break, guys. I'm sorry. I know you don't necessarily. I don't know. It just seemed very. Well, it, it's just irritating because it affects everybody. It. Oh, pompous. You did. How does it seem? I pompous? had to take a break from it. Like I do like because it's like fucking ridiculous. There, like, When's Sean gonna come back on? <laughs> you're clamoring for my <laughs> fucking yeah. opinion, obviously. Well, you're like, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm, but I'm a jerk. Okay, so I mean, so what? So what? else fucking fuck you, podcast. <laughs> I'm getting back in your face. No, uh, yeah, I understand. It's just like it's yeah, stressful. Maybe, it's I'm fucking be- stressful and irritating that. Well, yeah, it's just like anything. You know what else is irritating? Getting mauled by a bear. And it is frustrating. But you know, like five, sucks. <laughs> five seconds in, it doesn't matter. Maybe you have some honey spackled in your uh, under your balls. Oh, there you go. This is what I love to do. And he's attacking it, not fucking aggressively. But, oh, just but what was it? Uh, being eaten alive. I forget what it's called. You just like put butter or buttered ham or honey under your ball. <laughs> just getting ready to get eaten. I'm ready for this. And they just don't go for the balls. They just like sniff and walk away. No. Oh, imagine the shame. They, that must lead into a big shame. Shame spiral. Oh just kind of like, well, come back. Please come back. <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, the bear looks back uh, and just like lifts away. Uh, no. You just uh, start trying to beat one of its cubs and just like, yeah. It doesn't want you. It's, it's ashamed of you. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's embarrassed it's really for you. Too hard. Yeah. Oh uh, uh, no. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I, I understand the too much noise kind of thing. And they're really, adding to really, it yeah. tenfold. Uh, it's but, like, it's like the whole like we were talking about a couple weeks ago. The, in the fucking rabbit hole it just kind of mm. it'll just drain you so fast because yeah. it's just you can't wrap your head around it and then you try to rationalize it and then you try to throw some logic into it and then anger comes in mm. and then it turns into a shit spiral and then you want nothing to do with Too it many spirals in this it really, conversation uh, lots of spirals it's like a it's like a ham yeah <laughs> meaty got the bone in the middle I guess I was, you don't even want to talk about this right now. You, huh? you, you don't even talk about this. I'm trying. Oh, whatever. No, I am talking about it. I'm just giving you my giving you my uh, my honest opinion. That's all right. It's never the best. Be demeaning. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that what I was doing? <laughs> See, so I turned that around. Uh, yeah, I don't know. No, but, you know, it always bugs me. <laughs> I had to take a break. Even my fr- our friend Colby says, I got to take a break from it. I was like, from what? What, it was sitting down <laughs> on your ass and typing? <laughs> like, great. Right, okay. And, you know, like, everyone's like, and he's been... He, I gotta take a break from this. <laughs> so I guess I feel your pain. Uh, it's the smart Phil and Gullard show today. <sighs> uh, I'm just fucking. I just have a headache. That's all. Headache with ice cream. <laughs> See, I haven't had ice cream forever. That's one of the things I've been trying. You want to get down to nitty gritty? I've been wanting. Like I've been like, well, maybe I should have some ice cream. But I can, and that's my fat kid talk. Maybe we should have some ice cream. What if you have like an old lady ice cream? Would you feel like rum raisin or some uh. butter pecan? Would you feel better? But like you're butter pecan. like it's still good, but you don't what like you feel great Nazi? about it. You... <laughs> that was the Seinfeld routine. Oh god, uh, I hope not. I hate that shit. wrong with that. Oh really? Yeah, I'm gonna put that out there. I oh, fucking wow. hate Seinfeld. <laughs> I hate Seinfeld more than I hate stubbing my toe. <laughs> Break out the pitchforks and the torches, oh, god. buddy. Wow, really? Yes, I I find okay. nothing oh, funny about just that went show up. at all. Really? Yeah. Wow. I don't understand. I don't. What do you mean you don't understand? Oh, I don't get it. I don't get what's phenom. funny. I don't get what's funny. Okay. Kramer comes cool. in and he acts like a stupid asshole and dances around like a jerk. <laughs> and then he leaves and everyone's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> The funniest thing he ever did was use the fucking N word in a stand up routine and get ostracized from Hollywood. That was the only thing he ever did that I enjoyed that I got a chuckle out of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Fucking Probably. Wacky haired asshole. Yeah. Like, get out of here. Shuffle on out of here. His hair is, in fact, like his hair on Seinfeld in his fucking asshole. Dumb, dumb George. Hair your asshole. Tell me about it. That's the Larry King opening. Oh, now I just, I'm going to pass out because I felt like he just gave blood oh, from my stool. Um, blood from my stool. What do you think? I think That's what we just do, like, fucking. Uh, bloody shit jokes. Uh, yeah, or just like. All the anal, anal talk. rape hour. Yeah. Oh, that an hour, I guess. Speaking of which, I'm seeing my grandma this weekend. All right. Oh, wow. She's a loose bitch. <laughs> yeah. She's like an elephant. She's fucking, her anus is like the size of an elephant. It just kind of, <laughs> it honks and it fucking throws water at you. And That's pretty hot. I give it peanuts every day. Ugh. I get down with it. Yeah. It'd be like uh, one of those fucking water uh, parks. You just kind of slide down that. <laughs> oh, God. So all my grandmothers uh, are dead, so I don't know. Have you ever been to a water park? An anus water park? 
He had a legit, like, we're happy. Let's talk about water parks. I went to a water park once, and fucking the only time I did, I went down this crazy water slide, Mm -hmm. and my shorts went all the way up my asshole. I got out of there, and my fucking half of my balls were sticking out of my fucking pants. And I was How like, old were you? It was, was like, like fucking, last week. No, it was like four four years ago. Oh my god! So I was a grown man. <laughs> I'm a fucking. I'm like a silverback like gorilla. Yeah. So it's like all the ladies. It's like what's that fucking matter of wet hair? Back. It's like a wet dog just came down there and put someone put shorts on a wet dog. Yeah, you're fucking, Italian and Armenian. Yeah. So you got the Mediterranean and the fucking uh, Red Sea. Yeah. So I'm, fucking, I'm a mess physically. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Like a fucking uh, Neanderthal. Silly armor. Shaved Neanderthal. Yeah. Shaved monkey. Oh, we both have the sniffles, apparently. Yeah, I got AIDS, no though. So AIDS, I don't know well, that doesn't kill you. It's the disease after. No AIDS, the diet plan. The diet plan? <laughs> Anything uh, internally digested, suggestible? No. No. No auto Copious amounts of semen, as yeah. per usual. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> That'll get you going. We'll get a couple letters from Clan. Glad I got that. I feel like I give up. I keep try, I give up trying to segue into something. You well, come I up mean, with something to what? talk about, you fuck. This is the yeah, anger is. <laughs> fuck you, you do it. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I really like headache, and I kind of wish I brought that bagel I had. Jew time on the bagel. Oh, yeah, you are. <laughs> He's saying this is here. Oh, you are. Get out. <laughs> Twirling a twirl. Where the right scar? Now. Or no, where, where, the, where the yellow star? <laughs> you kegel. Um, oh, no, kegel. If a, anything, yeah. I honestly... For the audience and for us. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to listen to this podcast myself because it's a <laughs> shit show. Yeah, it really is. It's so fucking downhill. I'm so apathetic five. about it right now. Like, I want to do it, but I'm apathetic about it I'm at the same so time. I'm so drained emotionally for whatever reason. I got to take a step back. And Have you had a rough week, buddy? How's it been? How's your perm? <laughs> is it tough? I got a perm. It looks good. My uh, my pubes. <laughs> it's all looking good. Well, and yeah, I don't know. Fuck it. Um, How's it? Are you, like, work overload stress or something? Uh, I don't know. Just kind of, uh, I don't know. This podcast today, this week, seeming good. Seeming we're getting things out. We're getting things on the move. I mean, it's always something to talk about. Oh, it's absolutely. always bizarre. Like, we go into the bullshit of another movie we saw or something else we've been a part of, and it's just very bizarre because it's just like, we, you know, we've been talking and doing this stuff for a couple of times, and the fourth time, I don't know. And having no one else to kind of be like, well, what the fuck you? You tell us what we're talking about. <laughs> it really is that kind of, you know, what do you, what do you chat about? We, we've we directed, oh, there's actually a question we could bullshit our way into and talk about. Like, feel free. What kind bullshit of bullshit? You I feel like it just kind of like we've been like prisoners for like 25 days. Like they force us to do podcasts like every yeah. day. <laughs> it's like, we're, it's like we're, all, we're almost we're obligated to do it, but yeah. nobody really gives a shit if we don't oh, do it. of course. Where it's like, we got to do it. It's like we're doing stuff. But, um. Yeah, no, it's work. I mean, it's two hours. It's like four hours of our day. It really is work. Um, that we can do, and then Speaking afterwards. Of, I fucking get so much work going on right now. Right, I'm going to plug do this. Oh, <laughs> Feel more relaxed. Back. I'm going to plug Asylum Studios to Is right now. Fuck you. Yep, that's the plug. Fuck you, <laughs> Asylum <laughs> Studios. Fuck you, Asylum Studios. We don't need your bitchy attitude. That's Asylum right. Studios. What? We're sit here in silence. We're going to stare at each other for five minutes. <laughs> give it go. Give it a go. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Um, yeah, the bullshit of just talking to each other and doing that. I mean, it's fun. We have, I don't know. I mean, what can we chat about? I don't know. You're I, smart. <laughs> and, I can, and I'll argue with you. And we won't agree with each other. Don't and be it'll a fag about it. Well, no, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's we agree about certain again. things. But, um, I don't know, man. I don't uh, eh. You don't want to be smart. We don't have to be smart today. We can. I'm not, we're never smart. We're just swarmy little fucks. We're just, oh, don't give me that. I didn't mean uh, it like that, I buddy. Thought, I thought we were kind of smart. Ah, whatever. Smart alecky. Uh-huh. Alec Baldwin-y. But that was pretty funny. That was a pretty... I was, you took me off guard from the whole <laughs> Kramer bit. <laughs> that was pretty brilliant. I fucking hate it. What? Oh, wow. Yeah, I enjoy it. I enjoy science. But it, isn't the same... Didn't the same guy write... Uh... Larry David? Pretty yeah, much. doesn't he do Curb Your Enthusiasm? Which I've seen a few episodes, which yeah, I like do it. think is funny. Well, I think he's great. I think Seinfeld's good in his own right. But I also think Seinfeld is on the edge of being, like, too, like, containable, if that makes sense. Does that make, like, he can definitely be, he's not edgy enough. Oh, yeah. No, or I hate that phrase, too. But, no, there is a level of, like, like he's not, what the fuck haven't I heard from that guy? You know what I mean? I, I fucking hate Seinfeld in general. I don't <laughs> think he's funny. Like and It's a way of life. I just don't get I just don't get the humor. It's just like, yeah. it's like stating the obvious. Like, What's the deal with airplane food? Well, he doesn't fucking... do that all the time about that. And it's actually not necessarily him that is the funniest character. And is it Larry, George, George Costanza? Because yeah, like he gets Larry... spray hair and it's silly. And it's well, like, it's a, yeah. He's a Larry David type of, I mean, it's just kind of like embarrassing humor. Yeah, I think there's some great like situations where just socially awkward uh, positions with people. And I think Colleen, I don't know if Colleen, 
uh, like Seinfeld. That's who we had on. Uh, no, she hates it too. as well. Yeah, but she, she and I agree Kirby, on that. But she loves Curb Your Enthusiasm, which I would say it's just like Seinfeld to a different degree. Well, he's more of a douchebag though. Like the, yeah, the character no. he plays. Is but like, I mean, George Cassandra's is a douchebag. I mean, they're all kind of douchey on like on Seinfeld, and maybe it's just like the presentation. But like, just like uh, I think it's all, always I, funny and. So, Philadelphia is just the same way. Oh, that show is fucking hilarious. Well, it's the same way. They're all a bunch of douche. I yeah. mean, it's not like, it, it's my bro. It's like, would you really trust any of those guys But I think anything? like it's the, the sheer zaniness of Seinfeld that like, they're completely unrelatable assholes. It's like, okay. I, I don't get like... But you're going to say that uh, Always Sunny is not zany and... Un- well, okay, I'll say it's, they're it's relatable. More, it's like they're, they don't have money. And just kind of, they kind of do what they can. Well, they're, they're more, kind of more they're working like, class, too. It's just more, but I think the show's like more, it's more clever. I think Always Sunny is more clever. And like, I, well, I, I love Danny DeVito. Clever. But, um, you need to see more crass. I guess. I maybe, I don't no, know. No, it's you have your opinions, I have mine. Yeah. Mine are right, and that's all. <laughs> that's it. Once again, Phil outsmarts <laughs> me. No, I'm just a jerk, that's all. Just, I have no shame. That's it. <laughs> That's where the difference lies. Uh, as, as evident by our new movie, My Name is Jonah, when I get us into wacky situations. <laughs> <laughs> and deadly, where guns get pointed at my face. And I tell Jonah constantly, please don't point that gun at me. <laughs> It'd be awesome if that's the direction we decided to take the movie. You just become this extreme fucking filmmaker all of a sudden. Extreme, like, oh, I'm sure, what was it? Larry David, one of the writers for Seinfeld. I think it's Larry Charles. Too many Larrys in that fucking. Um, I think he did Bruno, or he took over for Bruno. Oh, yeah. And he took no, he took over for when. Um, oh shit, Zach and Barrett Cohen's. Um, what was the first? Not Bruno. How am I forgetting? Leg. Not Leg. The most famous. Borat. Bor- yeah. uh, Borat. Which I mean, obviously, I like Ali G show was a lot better than yeah, the other show was stuff. awesome. Yeah, and the and Bruno character in the Ali G show was amazing because yeah. the whole crux of it, our whole point was he makes fun of the fashion industry, and you know, obviously the gay thing too. Like is a like yeah. he battles homophobia, but seen in the movie, it was just kind of like, eh, well, let's do fucking an hour. We have to do an hour and a half of this. Yeah, and they don't really touch the they touch the fashion industry a little bit, but they don't really do what. You should, because I mean that whole thing. Is- That's one of the reasons I like that show is because I worked in the fashion industry for a oh, while. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's like I always, I always loved seeing him. Just like, it was just so awesome because he looked the part, but it was always just in sheer mockery of it. Yes, it made me just, so he turns happy. that dagger too. He yes. talks about, don't you wish all these people would just get on a train to Auschwitz? And that was like, why you ever see that? <laughs> yes. He did an interview with this fashion designer who was a fucking whatever. You're gay, whatever, but this guy was a fucking pip, and he was such a fucking asshole. It's like there's no redeeming quality about you as a human being or a societal use to you. Yeah. Like it's just like if fashion were done today and people were just wearing fucking cardboard boxes, yeah. you'd have yeah, nothing yeah. to say or do. Yeah. And just like maybe uh, same thing for me. But I like to think I I could at least dig a ditch. Like that, I can do that. <laughs> yeah. Like, if someone's be like, saying. die, like here, you're an infantryman. I'm like, okay, I'll be a grunt. And like at least I can do that. <laughs> Yeah. Like I like, but this fucker and I just are you being all right. I forget you like did runway stuff too. Right? Yeah, I worked. Like you were a model. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> you did. I did. I did a lot of. Uh, we're boss, picking up speed here again at the podcast. Yeah, we, he kicks in. It's sporadic. Have you noticed that? It's like it's. it's I. It's all mood. Babe. Yeah, it really is. We're it's fucking, like a fucking lie detector test. It's all I'm on spikes. The rag, and that's it. But uh, yeah, I did a lot of fashion photography in Boston, yeah. and like it was it was the weirdest time of my life because like. It was just, it's... Wait, do you still, do you not do it anymore? Well, I, I only do it now if I'm getting paid to do it. <laughs> that's that's how I do it, like... The qualifier. Like, uh... Um, paid. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll, I'll take pictures of anything I'm getting paid for, but, like, I... I, I just, it was the that, scene itself was weird. and dick pics. Yeah. Or dick pic, which is, I think is the funniest phrasing of anything. <laughs> dick pic. Dick is, pic. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, did you send him a dick pic? And just like in any casual, like, hey, mom, how you doing? Oh, we got a dick pic in the mail. <laughs> and it's from your college. Okay. It's a picture of a cock slapping <laughs> yeah, on the fridge. Yeah. You've been accepted. It's like, oh, good. Sport? <laughs> yeah. Just, Dad. <laughs> like, oh, son, uh, we got this for you. Just, Dad, this is a dick pic. Oh, sorry. It gives you a tussle. <laughs> yeah. Sends you on your way. Yeah. But all right, so you did fashion photography. Yeah. And it's just, a, it's a weird scene because like, it's a lot of um, self jerking off. It's, 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 <laughs> That's it's, the business, though. Yeah, and it's just weird because it's like, it's like, oh, you don't have any money to pay me, but you fucking everyone's driving like a fucking five hundred thousand dollar car. Uh, it's like, are you why? talking about Reggie that asshole? I'll use a name. Oh, really? You can yeah. use a name? Oh, he's a fuck. He like I was going through old um, stuff earlier. I was going through like old emails and old like projects, 
and there was no way like I, like he didn't get back to me and i'm sure he uses my same pricing structure to structure stuff for himself mm. and you know i mean all right i won't use the full name yeah um had a i had a run in for a couple of years with a really fucking shady and he never paid you anything did he or he paid not really i got paid like fucking chitlins every now and then Jesus. but now it's just like I, I set up like basically i branded like a whole business for somebody yeah. and like i would just do all these fashion shows and i fucking was taking these crazy pictures name. i did make a pretty good name yeah and like for him and myself but like yeah. it's you know i i got i did i got a lot of coverage and i was pretty big down in the boston fashion industry i was being claimed as like some sort of big fashion photographer for a while and i was just like he's reading off a cue card yes i am but it, it, it didn't amount to anything for me because like i i didn't i wasn't really doing it because i like the scene i didn't like the scene i didn't it's not fun for me to go do that like you know i like shooting events and i love photography but i don't i don't really it's taking pictures of somebody just so they can just kind of look at a picture of themselves later and just be like look how hot i am it's just like it's that such a weird awesome. sounds- it's a weird concept that does sound valiant no, well, I mean, <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> but yeah, like I, I, I basically set up like this whole pimp-looking business for this guy. I, I branded him and everything, and it was just like, well, it's like, uh, but yeah. You asked him, like, did you, you legit at one point, like, said, all right, here's really what you should pay me. Well, it was like, well, the, well, that was the idea. Was that we were going into it as like partners? It was like, you know, yeah. I was supposed to be like the fucking number two guy. And it's like, and then it turns out it's like you were the number two guy. And it's like, oh wait a minute, you poop. I just really don't need you oh. for anything. So long, fucking. Now that I got this, see you later. It's like, wait is a that minute. One, really? Well, it was just everything was starting to get sketchy. Like there would be like sketchy goings on. It was just like what, people like were unhappy. Deals? Well, I don't know about that, but like <laughs> it was I'm just like it in. It's, it, what's a coke deal? A lot what of people were pissed because it was just like you know it's like well there's money being made at these events and like what the fuck's going on? Like how oh, could nobody sketchy. seeing anything? Yeah, it's yeah. like it was just, it was so it's many people. Were, made, yeah, a lot of money. people were getting upset. Oh wow! And it was just like coming back to me. It's like I don't fucking know. It's like I'm just taking pictures and I'm. I thought like something was yeah. going. On. I was like so I just got out of it. I just, I just wait. So washed my hands of it and got out of it because I didn't want to do it anymore. Figure out if like he got trouble for that sort of stuff i have no idea like i legitimately was just like you legit got nervous when i started mentioning his name well it's just because i i don't like i don't want to shit on anybody that's why i will be that as it may but i like to i don't like to to leave things open yeah yeah i like to call that fucker out yeah i just i'm glad that you can because i usually don't do that i just i don't i don't like i mean i i agree with you i don't think it's really i don't like someone to do that i don't like to shit talk people because then i come i don't know i don't like to come back sure and i'm sure that person will. He could be, yeah, probably be like, "Yeah, he took really awesome photos <laughs> for free." And <laughs> yeah, I, he helped me build my whole fucking franchise. Did thousands of dollars worth of work for nothing. nothing. Yeah, well, well yeah. that's. Oh, I've done that for a client or two. Oh, I definitely. I've I've done it for a couple people. I mean, I won't mention uh, the various clients I've done that for, but it, you have to do that in many cases. You have to be shit on. To get your way in, it's there. a learning experience because that's, well, that's that's what, what it I is. was. Yeah, I fucking For anyone straight out up. there who wants to do it, yeah. just know that if you get disenchanted uh, rather quickly about things, don't even bother. Yeah, even that's with anything though. I mean, yeah. I, I always get, and that's an industry like that's an industry I tell people to be careful with. Like I've had a lot of models come up to me that want to, girls who want to be models, and, and it's you like, just tell them if they if you bed them, things will be cool. <laughs> yeah, it'll so be yeah, right. if you blow me, you'll get into a magazine. <laughs> it's called John Gets Blown Magazine. <laughs> <laughs> I'd read that. It's a five-page spread. Yeah. But no, that's the other thing too. Is <laughs> that, like, that actually has a very strong publication in in Europe? I've heard <laughs> lots of yeah, strongly in Germany. <laughs> strongly in Germany. And, um, but yeah, it's like I try to you know, it's like I try to tell these girls, it's like be smart about it. It's like mm. it's a sketchy business because like everybody wants something for free except for the people that are fucking making the money. <laughs> well, how do you think they make their money? But that's what I would argue that's any business. Yeah. Any business. I did a whole point and I emphasized business. Like business. Everybody's like, oh, we're looking, looking for a photographer. It's like, are you paying? No, we were just, you know, let's trade for portfolio work. Oh, it's like, t- oh, you're doing about- this to model, you're doing this to advertise your new fucking yeah. product line. Let's talk about Craigslist now. a little bit. Craigslist? Yeah, give it up. Not in a, oh, I'll talk about casual encounters in a second, but you can talk about... <laughs> It's great. No, just like well, I mean. Oh yeah, the Craigslist nonsense that you do when you're trying to look for gigs or yeah. something like that. Like, this is a uh, sock talk where we talk about how we fail. Yeah, we're gonna vent about our fucking businesses <laughs> right now. Our business failures. Well, it's I wouldn't say business failures. I think it's business successes because I've learned to fucking not have to do with it. I don't do any of that shit anymore. No, that's you true. learn from you your turn fucking that mistakes. Around. Frown into a, um, dude. That's down. the way I do. I I try not to be too negative all the time. We're an adorable young entrepreneur. We're like the odd couple, except we fuck. <laughs> Violently. Oscar? 
But yeah, the Craigslist is another good one for like mm-hmm. if you're if you're a designer or if you do anything artistic or or artistic, artistic especially. Yeah, <laughs> sit there and look at a snow globe. But yeah, it's it's always like, hey, we're looking for someone to create a logo for us. <laughs> Design like thirty different compositions and send them to us. And if we like it, we'll pay you hundred fifty bucks. It's like what? And we'll take you out to Denny. Wait a minute. How about how about you fucking pay me 150 bucks and I'll design two logos for you whether or not you use them yeah it's like, that's fucking not how that works at well, all no one everyone like you said everyone wants something for nothing yeah and that's like they want to save money and I come across a lot of startups like oh maybe you can do like this uh, video for us for $200 it shouldn't be that much so, should maybe, it maybe you can fuck should, yourself <laughs> yeah well it's just like you know you don't know the process of any of this it's like oh I like the little building over there you could do that in a couple my weeks niece for, my niece does video, so I could probably just get her. She has a camera. Oh, yeah. she Her no, phone she has, does video. She has iMovie. She has Movie Maker on her Windows oh, machine. God. And she has a magic wand. <laughs> she can make it work. Yeah, no, that's... I mean, like, you get what you pay for. It's like... Absolutely. And they don't... I, you know, clients sometimes don't understand how we could just kill a man. Well, it's it's kind of nice because like it's our work's progressed a lot over the years, so it's like yeah, we've had to not have to do the bullshit work that we used to have to do. Well, you still got to do some. You still that, do have to do bullshit work every now and then, but it's not as that'll change. Yeah, it's not yeah. as frequent, which well, is nice. True. And you, you you learn from getting fucked over, and mm-hmm. that that whole I spent like two years getting fucked over, which was a long time, and it took pretty a while hot, to learn, but. Yeah, you just I don't know, you learn from mistakes. And anyone who's aspiring to be a model, just be careful and use your fucking head. That's all I can tell you. It's like it's not, it's not as glamorous as it seems. Unless you're just looking to be popular on Facebook, then I guess mm-hmm. the thumbs up to you. I guess. Yeah, we have a girl. Yeah, that's it's always very bizarre. We have yeah people. Uh, some of the ladies we had in Shook, they're on Facebook. Shook is the. Um, it's fucking excellent. Yeah, I, yeah, I gotta cool. get my. Well, I, you haven't really. I, mean, I saw the trailer you sent me, and I gotta tip my fucking yeah, cap to it. Some, proverbial. Well, it's not. A, it's not Click. a trailer per se, but um, yeah, there's a whole bunch. Like some of the ladies in it, it's like they have like almost like nude photos they like put on Facebook or just hat like on their way there. Yeah. Nude. Hold on, let me try to find one for John. <clears throat> but um, <laughs> it's actually with me and like twenty thongs. Like yo, <laughs> his arms behind your back. Yeah, twenty thongs just like layered on top of each other. Nice. Ready to go. Oh, hold on one second. No, but she's, um... Hold on, audience. You're waiting for us. Yeah. No, fuck it. Never mind. But, um... <laughs> no, it's just this one woman, uh, she, like... It's like, I don't understand, like, how you'd be on Facebook. I mean, I guess that's her job. What she's trying to do is get uh, garner, like, attention. Like, I'm a yeah. whore. Yeah. Like, it's yep. fine. Like, if you're cool with that... You know what? I love whores. And I think it's a great market. And I'm not really being... <laughs> I'm not being a jerk about it. No, I know what you're saying. But, I mean, like, I, you know, I'm a dude, and I like watching pornography. And yeah. I understand that it can be both degrading to women and men because you know they're exploiting the sexual urge of a male or a female and they're denigrating women on screen by shitting in their nose but that's just what people like that's what you want yeah, yeah that's what the audience <laughs> calls for um no i but like just on facebook just yeah. see, it just seems bizarre like yeah. just blow a couple dudes then you'll get the word out <laughs> that's pretty that's pretty much what you're looking to do and it's like yeah well it's scary too because she was uh, she like sells posters on there and then, like, people, the guys, have, I mean, kudos to the guys for not giving a shit what anyone would say, especially in the fucking Reddit um, era of of online talkbacks. Yeah. Just like, what the fuck? And he's holding up, like, a poster of, of her, like, half nude. And, like, hey, it's me. I got your poster. It's like, wait, okay. Are you, I'm also in a van outside of your house. <laughs> and just, that rustling in the bushes, <laughs> ignore it. <laughs> yeah. I know that's not everyone. I know that's, like, the template for, yeah. like, but I mean, yeah, but that's where you go. I mean, the yeah. probability or the numbers are against you that yeah. you will get gang raped. And it's and weird it, too because it's like just because you're pretty doesn't mean you're gonna be famous. Like being yeah. pretty doesn't mean you're famous. Oh, well, it could be famous for something you don't want to be famous for. Yeah, it's just it's such a weird it's a weird like paradox. Like getting gang raped. We're gonna gang rape you. Beware. <laughs> and we're organized. <laughs> uh, that's the thing with Facebook; it'll get you organized. Yeah, like I still have a lot of the um, a lot of the people from my fashion days are still following me on Facebook, and it's weird because like. I never really interacted with them. Like they yeah. would, they would friend me, and it's just like, well, that's a Facebook world. Yeah, right? but it's like sometimes I'll catch like a post, and it's just like some girl doing a duck face in a fucking mirror with her cell phone, just like sticking her ass out, and it's just like, oh, <laughs> it's like I'm so bored today. And it's like everyone's just like, you're so pretty. It's like, whoa, how come you're so single? It's like, how come you uh, guys just doing? It's like, just, yep. you're just fucking feeding into this person's like just ego yeah. fest, and it's just like, we, what do you do? Like, she would definitely talent- blow me if I tell her she's cool. Yeah. And it's like you look at like what she does for work and she works at like fucking like 
Starbucks and he's just like, I'm aspiring to be a model and an mm-hmm. actress. It's like, why don't you get a fucking real skill and fucking yeah. learn to do something? I might take and you more seriously. Side, yeah. yeah, I'd be more interested in what you're doing. You're just being pretty and making a duck face. Doesn't I don't give a shit about that. Good for you. Well, that's the name of the I got pictures of me naked as Burt Reynolds. <laughs> fucking, I do that because it's funny. Yeah. Like, fucking, come on. Like, I know you lost me with the Burt Reynolds. So. I lost. I don't think that's I lost because you're looking at it right hey, now. Whoa! <laughs> now that's a Burt Reynolds. I'm like what? what? Well, yeah, this is. I don't know. Just no. Yeah. Attention for the sake of just sure. having attention. Well, I mean, but then you can make the argue, other argument. You know, but what else do they have? I mean, it's that's like, true. It's just kind of like where do they go from there? But I do like. But then <clears throat> I think all elements in that equation of the guy, like, whoa, you're so like the, the total on the nail. Yeah. Like, you're, you why are you so, so single? That, yeah. And it's just kind of like, well, oh, sure. tee hee yeah, 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 yeah. you're so crazy. <laughs> yeah. I'm fucking a machete for you. It's like I'm splitting my urethra open. It's like, ha ha ha. Excuse me, you haven't met a guy like me. That's why. What's up, baby? <laughs> <It's> like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I don't like it's like duck yo, face. What a player! Uh. Those players will play. <laughs> They'll get it. And no, yeah, it's uh, it's like just but, watching a conver- uh, like a, a non conversation progress and fucking I just get hair in my mouth. I'm sorry. Everyone's just like blowing each other. And it's just like what the fuck? What am I watching? Hey, it's hey, like hey. almost watching pornography without any sort of like actual no, payoff. Is. And it's pretty yeah. Well, the money shot is when she find you find her dead. <laughs> Uh, no, but and that leads to casual encounters on Craigslist, which is the um, equivalent, if you're a pick hunter like everyone here in the room, uh, no, it's the equivalent of penthouse letters and also the passion for gay men around. Because <laughs> it's just like it's no longer, there's no, the dregs of that sea, it's just kind of like, or it's just like uh, draining that <laughs> river, you can only, it's like, uh, that's where I always find like, where dick pick, pick for pick or tit pick, anything like swappers or anything like. All the language you want to hear about weird, like, sexual colloquialisms. Subculture Golden. of the internet is fucking insane. Oh, it's, it's awesome insane. and weird. And yeah. it's like, it really is like penthouse letters. Some of the stuff, it's like, I'm a li- and who knows what's true, but it's just kind of like, and if they put a pic there, who knows if it's them. But, yeah. you know, even, you know, it's just like the cheap thrills of, like, you're married and you look at porn. It's like, yeah. you know, I'm going on casual encounters. And what's going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you give me a call? <laughs> and, uh, no, um. I don't know, man. It's just so weird. It really but is. I think, like in the Facebook uh, area of that, it's so so bizarre. And, and I, it's it's funny because like I'll occasionally get like I'll lose some friends because like some of these people that'll oh, post wait. like um well these same people like these my ex fashion fucking contacts I guess and it's like like they'll say are they'll, we gonna they'll hurt post, people, John? Are we hurting people that you know? Hurting people's feelings? <laughs> well, <laughs> don't be a useless asshole. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Well, I would. Uh, that's what I. Or, to unless, really. or unless it's for entertainment value, in which we make fun of it. Which yeah, it's more or less the same. <laughs> yeah, it's the same thing. You're useless, but it's funny you know, to us. It's funny, but yeah, somebody laugh. Like uh, there was this girl who uh, started like post- posting pictures of herself, like. It was the same thing. It was duck face picture, picture of my ass so in the duck mirror. Duck face, like, is that when it's where yeah, you're making you the fucking like, pouting your lips out? Oh, weird. Like, do duck ducks face do picture, that all yeah. the time? Well, yeah. Whoa, That's yeah, because they have a bill. Oh, <laughs> Bam. That was pretty racist. Oh, I'm sorry. Or ethnic. <laughs> uh, no, I, I mean, yeah, is that get, a you, duck? You, all right, go ahead. Yeah, sorry. Your duck bill lips. You got your you sticking your ass out picture. You got your I'm bending over slightly over a mirror so you can see down my shirt, but I'm trying to make you look into my eyes picture. Um, and then like. This girl, so it was just, it's all she was posting was ridiculous pictures. And there's still people who do that uh, that I follow entertainingly so on my Facebook page. But mm-hmm. um, one of these girls was like posting a picture of herself in a fucking tanning bed. All you saw was the top what? of her, yeah, the How top did- of her tits. Like it was the top of a tanning, it was the inside of a tanning bed shot. Uh-huh. The top of her tits all the way down Is to her while feet. While she's tanning? While she was tanning. That's good. So I just, I had to do it. I had to do it. I got into like, I just commented. I was like, mmm, smells like skin cancer. <laughs> and I was immediately <laughs> defriended. What? Immediately. I was, oh, that's a low so threshold. That's just, a low threshold. That's okay. I just had to say it. Yeah, it's like. Of course you had to, I mean, you say it, but I mean, come on. I mean, people really don't have that thick of a skin. Oh. Uh, oh, well, they I will have it. reptilian skin. It's after it's turned into leather. Yeah. But I, just, I didn't intend on that. I'm sorry. <laughs> was that an orgasm? What did you just do there? Oh. I was just trying to think about what was just said. Hey, yeah. And I came but, to yeah. the conclusion about my orgasm. Facebook's fun. I've been enjoying Facebook a lot more lately because... Oh, why like, that? Just because, like... Why is that? <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> my, own, my own bullshit aside on, that I post on Facebook, well, I try not to post right. anything, like, personal because, like, Facebook mostly for me is just, it's like, hey, I fucking... Fun. 
They made a website. Why don't you fucking look at it and give me some money? Hey, I took some pictures. Why don't you look at them and took hire me to pictures. give me some money? Took some dirty pictures. But so many people post like really personal things on Facebook. It's like, okay. it's like, oh man, I got fucking. <laughs> I'm in trouble like with the law. I have explosive diarrhea right now. I have to go to the doctor. My <laughs> asshole is bleeding, and like, I I can't afford the insurance for my my bloody asshole. It's like, I don't want to read this. What am I? What am what I, I reading doing? about this for? Just even though I do support bloody asshole insurance providers, <laughs> they're really the good. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, but yeah, like but at the same time, what's the like, nature of that bit of that that stuff? But it's I do like, like how the quirky like popularity posts, like just trying to trying to crank out that next post that's going to be topical quickly so you can fucking see how many comments you get on it it's fucking amazing to me yeah whatever buddy you just you don't have a lot of friends you don't have nothing i don't know no one likes me your weight your uh, comments don't carry as much weight unless you have a couple friends let's it's get true. real buddy <laughs> let's get real right now i have one and a half well, I, <laughs> yeah and uh, yeah one of them is mark zuckerberg he doesn't want to fully commit <laughs> yeah he doesn't he's just no, whatever fuck, yeah, hey, fuck that guy i friended everybody uh yeah i don't know man Look at that casual encounters, all that shit. All that I must be like, shit. I must be one of the only people who uses Facebook to be a jerk because I, I legit. No, a lot of people use it to be a jerk. I just think it's funny. It's like entertaining to watch people's lives. Like, it's, it's like so you know the whole Batman weird. thing. Batman had all those cameras throughout Gotham, and you just see, <clears throat> you just see the revolving door of people going. That's something you just keep up with people when we're saying and just. You know, but like the whole idea of it is like it's a community that you try to relate to people and like these people that you you communicate you do with. Or you don't, you know. It's your I, fault. I communicate with like a dozen people it's and like. Fart now. Let it happen. Get it. No, that's not the right place to be. <laughs> yeah, it's careful, dude. Bring a new level of class. <laughs> Mike, back though. up to the nose. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. But yeah, it's supposed to be like a community with people you interact with. And half the time, I just read it and just like, I never want to talk to these people in person. Yeah. It's just it's fucking weird to me. It's like... I got some new Ugg boots. I got some <laughs> new Ugg boots, and they're really awesome. And it's like, cool. well, they are awesome. You just don't like Ugg boots. I don't. By the way, uh, Ugg boots are on sale on Ugg.com. Take a look. <laughs> By Sock Talk. Uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, you know, why don't we just rattle off? I'm just fucking call Coca Cola. <laughs> Coca Cola. Um, it's great with semen. Coca Cola. It's good um, with doing rat a, poison. Doing a podcast where you don't really have much to talk about and you're in a, both in a bad mood <laughs> is fucking equals a fucking bad podcast. Well, I mean, we could always, I legit want to try to get like fucking advertising, like people to tell us to shut up. Like, oh, you know what makes your semen turn uh, orange? Coca-Cola. Try it today. Does it really? I don't know. I mean, I'm just. I'm going to start drinking. Do you know the, the whole point of this whole thing is just to spout off things. And if they want to call us back, don't air that. It's like, well, it doesn't have to be true. We're just talking. <laughs> it's all conjecture. Coca-Cola caused cancer in 25 out of 35 cancer patients who claim to have cancer without Coke. That's a, that's a statistic. No, that's a I buy it. One. Uh, oh, yeah. All right, well, go on. What are we even talking we're, about? We were talking about chocolate. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <fine. laughs> oh, my God. No, I don't, I don't know, man. That's one of those things where, yeah, oh, no, the sun's kind of out, looking nice. I feel like it's one of those quiet... Here's one. Here's what I really feel right now. Here's the reality. Here's the really dope. Here's the dope reality voice. I fucking cannot wait to listen to this because it's it's just pure spite and sarcasm right it's now. Pure, it's pure fucking, dribble. Yeah. yeah. Um, no. Well, here's the reality. Re oh, fucking, I'm a fucking asshole. Here's what the engines used to do. No one used <laughs> fire water. <laughs> Drink it up, bitches. No, and I I do think people should use the term engine more because no one uses engine. I. It's a good term. J U N. Because it's one of those kind of, it's a weird, like, derogatory term that's just kind of, in, to me, it's meaningless yeah. in a way. But I'm sure, like, Native Americans who aren't, in fact, native to the area because they came over on the land bridge from Asia, eat that, bitches. Nice. Or they came in from a leaf boat. I like that. Um, well, whatever. I mean, it's not, well, it's, the whole point is not to call them something that um, some fucking genocidal maniac like Christopher Columbus did yeah. <laughs> because he thought it was the con subcontinent of India. Yeah. So I guess I'll qualify that for all the people who get angered. Or angered by engines, which, you know. Supposedly they're uh, Asian originally. Yeah, no, from, you know, yeah. it, because they have that kind of facial structure. Yeah. And that's, you know, what are you going to do? Um, and, you know, uh, Land Bridge is the, yeah. you know, uh, from uh, Bering Strait, from uh, what connects pretty much um, uh, Alaska and Russia, where it is, from the steps, the steeps, the steps. And it's a whole other cool thing about that. But yeah. um, what the, oh, fucking penny flinging. Uh, this podcast is full of quirks. 
But you know what the <laughs> it's, gonna, yeah. it's, like, it's a total shit show. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> but I mean, maybe we needed to get back to it so we can rebuild. Yeah, we were we were building. We still got like twenty minutes, uh, twenty five minutes to go. Do we hit our mark? But uh, we're gonna do fucking, we really? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna drag this fucker out. That's fucking milk um, for all it's worth. But no, no, the Indians or certain Native American cultures. Uh, would just sit in silence and just sit with each other and just like their thoughts and just somebody that's how it's I feel. Because they were high as fuck all the time. Maybe I don't think that's necessarily the case, but I mean I also think because there's a certain respect and self-reflection on being with people, and maybe they felt a certain kinship or a certain kind of like I don't know, bring Daredevil back into it because why not? Because fucking we know our audience and we're nerds ourselves, yeah. and we can't really we have no real um, real world. Uh, evidence or anything they fucking sack any of this but you know frank miller and uh former writer of daredevil and uh did batman returns on my my dick <laughs> sorry <laughs> i'll cut that up with something um uh, my pants were chafing me no my shirt's chafing me. <laughs> nice <laughs> um, um jesus but no it's just like daredevil who you know everyone know everyone knows the origin of daredevil <laughs> he uh get hit by radioactive waste as in the marvel comics way and um he would was a blind kid, and then he, uh, when he was hit with the waste, radioactive waste, he was able to, you know, you almost have like a radar where he could hear, um, like, you know, heartbeats, uh, a lot, his senses were heightened, and like he could feel like, uh, like a certain air of things around him, he could feel like the aura of people in a way, like, or, you know, and aura I think is a messy word that gets thrown a lot, around a lot, but, you know, feel the heat of another human being just around you, or like, the presence of people you can actually kind of feel them there yeah. and just like kind of sitting around just kind of like because it's a it's a pacifying thing and just sit there and just with your thoughts you don't need to kind of force things out and with a podcast i think people will do radio shows like every day i mean i think they have to do a lot of bullshitty talking and that's you know they get it done like sports radio or even talk radio or any sort of thing even talk <laughs> shows i mean they have they do sketches or do whatever like, and I'm sure Conan O'Brien or Jay Leno doesn't give a shit about most of the people they bring in. And I know they don't. I mean, there's a whole process to it. They screen it, and everyone's promoting something. You know? Yeah. All part of a big machine where you plug in a guest to promote something, and it doesn't have to necessarily do with any sort of talent or any sort of intellectual um, ideal or any sort of like, oh, we love we love this guy. Bring him on. I mean, some of that exists in it, but, I mean, a lot of it is predicated on, you know, profit and all that stuff. And, you know, well, just like it's not – meant to build on anything you make it entertaining but yeah it's not like you know sitting with a group of people and just being there in silence and not feeling the need to speak and then just sit there and enjoy each other i think that's a very solemn i think the art of not speaking that's beautiful man <laughs> <laughs> we just gaze into each other's eyes but the art of not speaking and we could just have a podcast where we're just like are there and just like <coughs> so just like, yeah just <laughs> and, oh, sorry. And um, or just like um, just scribbling, and anything else. But no, I, I I legit like it. Even just thinking, talking about it, thinking about it, didn't that calm you down a bit? Make it kind of center you a bit. As, oh, the idea of just like it, re reflection. Doesn't it, doesn't it center you? Get, get centered. Yeah, you're just, not even high. This is some serious fucking high no, talk. Center, right no, here, center. Right? That was just me making fun of the term center. <laughs> but I mean, but that's also the fluid in your brain and everything. It's kind of weird because it's like a leveler. I mean, because the, the moon actually controls some of that in weird ways. That's fucking crazy. It's kind of weird. But no, I mean, we're legit. And let's talk about not talking through talking to, to defeat the purpose <laughs> of a whole. I know what you're like saying. I, I feel like sometimes having to bullshit your way through a conversation and make small talk is just kind of. Uh huh. It's uh -huh. uncomfortable. And I just nod <laughs> emphatically without uh -huh. any meaning. Uh huh. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> 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 no, but yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. I mean, I think. I do enjoy your company, and I do enjoy talking to you as much as we feel like this podcast is a fucking, like, mud sling shit show. I, I've had a lot of fun today, actually, because it's, yeah. it's fucking terrible. It's a Wait, car accident. Do you this want to awesome. go to the comic book store after this? Or I can't you, today, You can't actually. today? No. All right. Well, that would uh, appease my pain. Slightly. <laughs> With commerce. Uh, <laughs> Not commerce. Commerce. It, it makes everything go away. It actually kind of does for a little while, though. Yeah, the act of getting something might not be as important as creating it. Oh, it's way better to make something. But then there's but nothing worse like when poop. you make something that no one cares. He's yeah. Like, uh. yeah, but I mean, like, actually, I will say your, your drawing on your phone is pretty awesome. Oh, thank like, you. Like, uh, the Wolverine, I thought I was fucking floored away. I legit oh, was, like, thought it was awesome. Thank you. Okay, now let's get to the reality of it. Uh, <laughs> it was okay. I'm actually taking a, um, starting a uh, digital drawing course uh, tomorrow. No, Monday. Oh, you're taking uh, Monday. it? Or yeah, you're it's teaching. like, um, it was like 600 bucks. It was like, um, 
it's called C. I think the art the website cgartists.com or cgart.com. Awesome. Awesome. And um, you're taught by a professional. I'm doing it with Jeff. Actually, we oh, both awesome. signed up for it. Yeah, and maybe um, we can do some animation. I would love to, but a lot of yeah, work. Yeah, I need some practice on that, but. Yeah. Um, uh, it's 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 gonna be fun. It's like you get your top by a professional, um, and it's kind of it's kind of like for me. I don't do a lot of forum stuff. Like I'm not yeah. as much as like the I, I, as much as I'm into the internet. Like I don't do a lot of the social stuff, like forums and threads and stuff like that. I just oh, don't, oh I don't, okay yeah. yeah you yeah. know like people just start commenting and feeding off of each other's comments or I just oh just have a conversation. Just don't feel I, yeah. it's weird. Like don't feel the it's weird when you're like you got to get out there yeah. but it's like you no. kind of do sort of yeah, with this I kind of have to because like don't have that attitude just put stuff out there and just be like yeah. you know, like Colin speaking plug yeah absolutely just have no just like you we talk to each other all the time uh, sometimes too much at night <laughs> just, and my wife has been telling me what the fuck are you talking about I'm like nothing just go back to bed <laughs> like I don't love you anymore um, no it well it's like you know just try to hold as unnatural as it seems, try to hold it. Well, it's just weird because I'm, I'm just kind of generally an antisocial person, so it's like I had social. to go on to that. Did you say that? I think to an extent. I, I, I feel I feel awkward being kind of bullshit. It's all a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> Phil knows me better than fucking anyone listening. Ted Turner. Yeah. But uh, you know, you kind of have to go onto this thread and like introduce yourself because like you know he's kind of giving you a course curriculum and telling you how it's going to work, and it's cool because like you basically I think it's like done a lot through instructional videos, and then like you have homework assignments and you send it in, and they, everybody critiques it or he critiques it, the, yeah. the instructor, and then like you know there's like 35 people together in the class and that's it, and like every, it's cool because like everyone kind of like is on the thread, everyone's introducing themselves, and then like there's another thread where everyone's posting their work, so it's like you can kind of see everyone's skill level, and it's yeah. it's kind of intimidating because there's some really fucking talented people on there, and it's just kind of. It's gonna be intimidating. It is. It's it's kind of cool because like I'm I'm wicked competitive, so I'm like at the same time I want to. <laughs> well, that's a good and bad thing. I want to do well, but at the same time like you disappoint yourself. Yeah, yeah, that's that's how it works for me. It's always like a constant like being an artist sucks because you're trying to. No, it's true. It's like the same being a comedian. Oh, yeah. good. I'm sorry. I mean to cut you off. Oh, that's a good. That's a good. That's a good. Very. You want to be the funniest guy. Yeah, you do. You can. Yeah. But you gotta. But it, you gotta up your game every time. Yeah. So it it's sucks. like. And there's nothing worse than like to like putting out some work that you think is fucking awesome. And you're like ready to show it to the world, and then it's just kind of like, oh, oh, what was that? <laughs> oh, look, I just shit that out. Yeah. Oh, looks good, buddy. Golf yeah, clap. Good for you. Yeah. What did you do this on? Did your grandmother? This you? <laughs> oh, well, that's cool. That's cool, guy. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. I have a friend who takes pictures. <laughs> cool. Cool. That's the best. Oh, he does video films too. Yeah, he does. Um, he works on I that. shot this awesome wedding. It was like fucking 500 people there. I was the only person taking the pictures. And yeah. Like, yeah. I shot it on my phone. It was fucking fantastic. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's cool. I had, uh, yeah, I brought my point and shoot. Yeah. <laughs> How many megapixels is that? Uh, oh, God. Yeah. But no, I'm excited to take this class and I'm excited to get back into art again. Like, you just should. Drawing. I forget you're, you draw. And it's like, because I also hate it because I can't draw for shit. But people are like, oh, you got to practice. Like, no, some people have a natural ability to do shapes. Yeah. I, I mean, mean there's, I, there's I some think. natural skill to it, but like, it really I is like, it. if you do practice, like, you can, if you do, no, you do I'm get sure. better. But I think people are naturally funny and they can only get funnier. Yeah. And I think, and it's like <clears> being a comedian, like, or stand up comedy, it's like, it's not. That's like a job. That's a skill you got to do. You can be funny, but you can be shitty. Be, I can't imagine comedian. how terrifying that's oh, going to be. Yeah, you use, I mean, yeah. It's I went to um, as much. I went to an open micer in Manchester uh -oh, a couple weeks ago. I didn't do anything. Was it really bad? I went with a friend and like there were some people doing stand up and like um, – I'd never really seen like a, a, a novice night before and it was it was kind of it's depressing it, dude it really is because there were some people that bombed really bad terribly I bombed before but I like to think I bombed like I bombed the place yeah like it fire bombed it <laughs> afterwards but it was just, some of them it was kinda, <laughs> it's, it's uncomfortable to watch a person just kind of yeah collapse that's why you should heckle the shit out of them and give them something yeah well I mean people say hecklers fuck hecklers but no crowd control and also it's a gift You'd be like, and sometimes, you know, like, take it and just fucking run with it. Like, MST, that shit. Yeah, yeah. That's a good way to look at it. Uh -huh. But that's that's got to take some balls to get up there and just kind of... Yeah. One of, the, one of the guys was, like, wicked nervous. Like, the end oh, of his... Yeah. You could see him kind of visibly, was visibly bit, shaking. No? He was like a nerd. No, he was just kind of a nerdy kid. And, like, he uh -huh. was kind of pouring his heart into it. And he was bombing. And he just started... Yeah, any, like, good, he just, any good, like, potential? No. <laughs> no, he, he wasn't. Like, he, was, he wasn't good. Yeah. But there was a few people that were funny as fuck. And I was really yeah. genuinely, like, pretty impressed with. And I laughed. Yeah. And it was, it was cool. But... For the most part, like, comedy is weird. Like, I know you're really critical about comedy as well. What? And, like, it's like, oh, go ahead. I'll, I'll go, no, I was go just, after. just going to say, it's like, it's it's a tough. It is tough. It's a tough bit. It's a tough gig. And but like, it's. That's it's why not, you appreciate funny that much more. Well, yeah, but here's the thing. And also, stand up comedy, I think, is shit. 
I just think it's a stupid thing. Like, it's like, yeah, we know. We understand. You're going up there. They're your troubles. Whatever. <laughs> I enjoy more someone who does a performance type of thing with it. Like, they do comedy, but it's like a character. And they do. I mean, technically, everyone who goes up and does stand up is a character. It's not necessarily them. I just, I just spelt the truth. Yeah. And just people go out there and, like, yo, it's just the truth. It's just me and the truth. <laughs> and it's like, fuck off. It, it, there's just a lot of stuff that just, like, I don't care. It's just, I, part of it's, I don't care. Yeah. It's the worst part. It's not like being critical, it's being apathetic. And the reason why you're apathetic to it is because... Like, well, what are some, like, performance artists that you, you, you can think of off the top of your head that you're... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I really, right. like... Um, I'm a big fan of the surly smart guys, like, Louis C.K., George yeah. Carlin, that kind I of like, thing. Uh, yeah, I mean, that goes to a point with me. I like Maria Bamford. Uh, is it Bramford? No, Maria Bamford, I think. She's pretty cool. She's a lot of, a lot of voices, but she, there's a lot... There's also a lot behind her as far as, like... Like, you know, and this might sound shitty, but it's like that kind of modern art bullshit. But yeah, there's something more to her as she's up there and she's doing her thing. And um, Female that, comics are tough, too, because most, as a rule, just, most girls aren't funny. Am I right, ladies? I mean, hey. stuff like that. Like, Amy Schumer is really bad. <laughs> I really don't like her. Uh, she has some okay bits, but they're very predictable when they go that way. Oh, I, mean, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I saw, I saw, one, of, I saw one of her things. She was supposed to be like, everyone... Uh, was yeah. talking her up and I, I saw one of her stand-up routines and yeah. I was like, eh. and it's just a, it was just like a typical angry too. girl routine. So you go, and, no one will fuck me. Uh. And, and throw away jokes after. It's like, oh, you know, and I love my, uh, like, I don't know. Yeah. Just a little throwaway at the end. And I like doing throwaways too, but I just, I don't know. But I, I can be pretty shitty at comedy uh, as a stand-up and in general comedian as per, you know, evidence of this podcast. But <laughs> what can you do uh, from there? I don't know, man. It, it's like, that's a tough go. I mean, any kind of artistry is like you got to keep hammering at it, though. Art's a motherfucker, it really is. Yeah. Well, I mean, just like anything, like any trade, you got to just keep going at it. Yeah. I mean, you know, garbage picker isn't the best until you know he gets his shoes wet, gets his garbage <laughs> garbage shoe shoes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. That's, a, that's the fucking. That's the way this part. Uh, that's the way this podcast is going, folks. Garbage uh, juice shoes. Yep. And we just have and hold on one second. Is he out? Someone masturbating? Yeah, no, no, like just uh, one of my uh, coworkers is outside. And he's just checking things out. Hold on one second. You keep talking. I'm going to keep saying what's up. I'll commentate, I guess. This is interesting. Go ahead. He's a tall young man with a pencil thin mustache. Oh, all right, all right. Okay. He, but you just did. You did just, you just did interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's, uh, he's making the update. Am I really doing this solo right now? do this solo i'm just gonna sit here i'm just gonna sit here we'll cut this part out i can't do this alone i get scared when i get scared i get horny I, I didn't say shit. I just figured, that's, <laughs> you know, cut that. that out. You should fucking. You playing with your phone? <laughs> I give this guy one chance. This is your chance to fucking take over. I can't do shit by myself. Oh my god. But you're the one who spearheaded this whole experiment. You keep saying that. Well, you did. This is, you were the, the big proponent of it. I, not to say I was against it, but it just kind of, you were the one who. I just thought it would be fun. <laughs> and it is fun. Oh. Sha na na na. That doesn't mean I could talk. I guess I talk I can't even talk yeah. well, that, doesn't mean I speak well or eloquently well I mean talk I mean yeah like I, I tried to put a microphone up to my fart <laughs> I don't think we, I think That's we can true. take me it's away been a good show that category of you know, speaking eloquently but um no, alright well I guess yeah we'll end it there with uh, all that <laughs> shit but I well I did um I get one of the things too um it did piss me off at first but I mean I, the nature of who you are I mean just like people have to understand each other I guess we'll end on this more. Oh no, 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 now we're getting into some critical thinking. Ah, here. I'm Jesus. curious. Uh, just uh, you know, you have to know each other. Yeah. You, you can be a friend. You can't. I mean, here's the thing: people are like, oh, I don't agree with them on any level. And my friend Ben, the director of Shook, and produ- and uh, fellow producer and writer and all that stuff, uh, we were talking about like people give bullshit reasons for not being in a relationship. It's actually. Uh, and it hits close to home to a couple of our friends like oh that bitch is crazy or oh she's kind of insane it's like oh yeah and what else and like so it's like everyone is insane everyone yeah. who isn't you is crazy yeah. to you and uh, you can make the whole like misog- well, not necessarily misogynist but just kind of basic like huh, females are different than males and it's like yeah because one has a vagina and one has a penis I could say the most arrogant thing I just think I just realized because I was going to say oh, that applies to me very much lately because 
like I said, I wanted to start dating again, but like every time I try to date, it's just kind of like, eh. Well, I always, it's like I always try to find a reason not to want to. Well, I mean, I don't understand. Like, do people know like the kind of weird like – I well, this sounds arrogant. Do people know? <laughs> and now I'm Bruce McCulloching but, um, <laughs> you know, from Kids in the Hall. But do people know that – I don't know. It's just like everyone's vastly different. You can – Yeah. You can like uh, – That's my that's my thing. That's you, my problem right now. Well, I mean you can connect on <clears throat> different levels like the monk and I. Steph and I connect on a soul based level of S O L E level of just kind of like we're, you know, she's one of the, the most beautiful human beings I've ever met. Sensitive and, talk and, with and She's a, a cute little monk. I just want to bite her cheeks. But, <laughs> violently. Um, violently, yeah. <laughs> At night, I just, I do like slap her cheeks a little, like a little tap, tap, tap when she's sleeping. <laughs> it's just gonna sound shitty about my situation as far as like relationships go and like trying to find someone shitty. You know, oh you're not done trying to find someone um, that you're compatible with is like I want someone who's just as interested in a variety of things as I am like I like a lot of stuff I do a lot okay. of things it's like um I actually had a friend recently tell me one thing. It was a girl. She was just like, guys just seem to want like everything. Like they want a guy oh. who's good in bed, who looks good, who works out, who does they this, that, and the thing, who... who can cook, who can do this and that thing. I was like, yeah. I was like, I do because I go. I was like, because you I go to the gym. I want, yeah, I want some. I go to the gym. Do you I, cook? I no? do a lot of stuff. Yeah, I, I cook eh. noodles, 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 noodles and noodles. But yeah, tomato um, sauce and noodles. I have a lot of interests, and I like I like to do a lot of different things, and I want someone who's on the same scale. I want someone I can talk to about a variety of different things, and not just well, okay. You want another like a two-dimensional buddy? character? That's all. I do. I want a two D space. <laughs> I, I want to be pixelated. How do, how do I fuck you? <laughs> There's me touching the two D space. I don't want to say that sounds arrogant because it kind of does say oh, that I, I demand. You don't I, want to, but you will. I have a high expectation for somebody, but at the same time, you know, I want to. It's not for an arrogant reason, or it's not for a shallow reason. It's because I want a legit connection with somebody on well, a lot of different yeah, levels. That's sure, why. Sure, but I mean, you don't find it on the first date. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta dig deep. You gotta dig. You gotta. Yeah, man. It's like mining for love. <laughs> no, I, well, I guess the whole point or the crux. Uh, crux. Jeez, I gotta stop it. It's like three or four fucking phrases I use to transition to anything. Uh, crux, mirrored. That's okay mired. because I struggle for words. I've noticed that listening to the past podcast, no, I fucking it's struggle like an idiot for well, words. You just break out the source, read more. And then you just figure that's. Oh, I'll wait a minute. Saying I'm not well read, eh? I didn't say that. I read porno. <laughs> I read. I actually read some old school 1950s pornography, <laughs> kind of racy stuff. But I apologize. Um, do do continue. Oh well, thanks for your fucking blessing. But <laughs> uh, we have um, what was it like? How knowing another person and like you, yeah, you, you, uh, you did, you did fucking you needle dick me into this thing, <laughs> and um, which I'm not saying I'm not happy to do, and actually it does give me. I am excited as much as an ordinary fucker just kind of like dis disapproving like piece of shit like I'm like fuck this and I'm like lounging back on the podcast I don't give a shit like during this one like some fake weird like maybe I just need something to eat and that's probably like and that's where I'm a lady (laughs) I need something to eat Um, no but like knowing you and like when we first did Jonah, I know we had this whole, like, we went to go see him the first kind of incident. I'm like, all right, John, you're going to be talking to him and getting him going because you've been kind of buttering him up up until this point. Yeah. And when we get there, uh, it's like a fucking sitcom where he opens his mouth and nothing comes out. And just kind of like, ah, fuck. So I'm, I'm a nervous idiot. Well, I I am a nervous idiot. I was idiot. pissed like a motherfucker. I know you were. And I was like, oh, fuck, great. Okay, hey, Jonah. And so I, I spent, but that's what my role, but that's who, what I have to be. And it was stupid of me not to think that. That's a big misconception, not, though, about my person. My person in general is like everyone expects me to be this loudmouth, fucking wild well, you man. You can be. You can be, but when you're put on a spot, you're just kind of. I, uh, I'm a deer in headlights. Well, I mean, I think you just don't don't think about it too crazy. But I think like you thought the stakes were very high. And, it's got to be great, and then like no, you just. And that's the thing with like any entertainment, like it's just like and Louis C.K. will bring up again, like he talks about writing and just doing comedy. It doesn't fucking. It's not like you're shitting out Mona Lisa, as Bill <laughs> yeah. Hicks would say. Yeah. Uh, but you just kind of you got to work at it, yep. and that's the whole thing. Like talking, it's like talking or doing. I have a fucking. I grew up with a list, but I still have it. But it's just more or less a thing where uh, I was. I also had a hearing problem, which probably led to uh, the list. And actually, my sister-in-law tried to explain to me like, "Oh, it's probably this way." I'm like, "Yeah, I know. It deals with my hearing. It's like I haven't I had a hole in my eardrum, yeah. so I couldn't hear a certain frequency, so I couldn't produce the saliva to, to 
make our I produce too much or not enough, and my acids would get slurred or whatever. And that you know, and that breaks up the whole um, that breaks up a whole new conversation of how drugs alter your perception of things because they break down your body and you figure out how you actually do things and just how like McKenna would talk about it and how Leary talks about it yeah. and like the true uh, the great grave importance of knowing the body or knowing the mind is to fuck it up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, as much as, as stupid as that sounds, and it is kind of stupid. you got to yeah. be temperamental about it. <clears throat> and Ken Kesey, uh, who's actually a great documentary on um, Netflix called Magic Bus about Ken Kesey and his drive from um, like California to New York and like that crazy bus. That's cool. Uh, yeah, it's good. I mean, it's like, I think all that 60s like experimentation stuff is fun. But, oh, you know, absolutely, just, yeah. Like knowing each other and knowing, I guess the whole point is, like that's part of who I am, and I even having that list and growing up and not really hearing myself, I was uh, like genetically inclined to be a loud mouth of sorts, and part partially um, uh, instructed through my surroundings to be that way, as part of the Healy uh, clan. <laughs> uh, but no, man. yeah, it's um, I don't know, man, and you're just in some cases you put your yourself on in that pressure situation. And it's just kind of like well, I feel like every did. time, like it's weird. If I'm put on the spot, I feel like it's it's supposed to be like prolific, and it's just well, like, you, well, no, just talk. <laughs> I mean, it's just like you. It takes time to get past yeah something. Just like right now, go. Oh shit! Oh, well, I just think it's funny because like <laughs> I'm actually like a very like insecure person, like as in general, and it's like it's a big misconception, like automatically world, it's big, always it's i do ridiculous. i will say this i won't make fun of you this and make you even more insecure so a little help uh help the podcast out <laughs> so help, sure. this will help you feel like a bigger piece of shit about <laughs> yourself <laughs> yeah this will really Disclaimer, break it down. um no because you know it's like people are like oh i wonder how he really is like there's like 20 people are like <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> it's the uh pre- preconceived notion like i know people think i'm a big guy and hanging out <laughs> john's about to hit me in a minute but uh, I'm really softy. Uh, no, but you know, it just kind of no one cares. No one really cares. And actually, a therapist. I went to therapy at one point when I started fucking uh, sockets, and it just kind of <laughs> so I had to get out of that phase. And it still kind of comes Due to back. the burns and the <laughs> overall weird yeah. nature of the it. The electro powers I can <laughs> for when I ejaculate. Nice. Uh, one of my favorite terms, ejaculate. To ejaculate, because it also it's spelled the same way as ejaculate, and you could say it and you pronounce it ejaculate. Ejaculate, if I ejaculate, or ejaculating, um, and it's you know a verb and a noun, whatever. <laughs> um, uh, but what if I ejaculate a lightning bolt? That'd be kind of that be would a, be awesome. That would be a fun time, yeah. but it'd take me forever <laughs> in between. Uh, You'd have to ground gonna... it with something at some point. Just yeah. Say, Stop. Um, I just like have it, like in my shoe, and I can't uh, never yeah, fuck yeah. without shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> and just, um, all right, ejaculate. Oh, maybe that's another E and then dash Jack. And then, <laughs> never mind. Um, no, I um, fuck. What were we getting to? I don't know. Basically, that I'm a fucking you're a nutty, insecure little insecure guy. nothing. Yeah, I guess. But everyone, I mean, everyone, no one cares. Uh, yeah. Like it's just like I've you, been told that. Like I can't. You know no, what's funny? No I can't does. let loose. No one. I don't let loose. Like, what do you mean? What do you consider loose? Um, when you go out like and you have like I will stop drinking. Like I don't really drink. A lot of people know that, but like <laughs> now we figure if out it gets the, to the point where I start drunk. to feel like I'm getting too drunk. I'll stop yeah. so I have control over my body. So like in case something so happens, you don't fuck or, like, everything. I don't do something stupid. No, or, that's like, not a bad instinct. Like I don't dance because I'm afraid. Why? Because everyone like, looks like a want, douche. I don't want to go out there Dancing not knowing what I, I. I don't want to not know how to dance. What do you mean, like tango? You you think you're gonna be an action star and like be like uh, Dude, Arnold Schwarzenegger go out there, go for your <laughs> Just go out there and tear it up. I need to be able to go out there and tear <laughs> Maybe it up. One day you do. Well, that's yeah. You were talking to Colleen when we had her on podcast too, referencing other podcasts. Listen to them. Wow, wow, hypno too. Um, no, I mean, you talked about how you don't want to do karaoke because oh my god, you're not so, good at it. I was, dude. I got like all like nervous. So like, I started like having like. I, I was doing like these weird, stupid, like body motions, like trying to, like, you know, like well, what well, do you think, fumbling for pockets or just like doing something. What do you something think's going to be more caustic or more kind of hair um, tearing? Or I, I don't know, what do you, what's it called? Hair raising or whatever. Or you're just pulling your hair out. Uh, you looking weirdly, like, uncomfortable. Or yeah. you just looking like an asshole and just having a good time. I know. What do you think looks, what do you think, I, if you want to go with your logic, what do you think looks I completely understand. And I understand that, like, that, that train of thought makes perfect sense in my head. Yeah. But, like, as soon as, like, I'm up, as soon as I have to do anything and it's, like, all eyes are on me, it's like, uh... What? <laughs> like, dude, uh, Jeff's, yeah. Jeff's wedding. I totally yeah, you told botched fuck his that. fucking. I remember. His fucking. I was like his best man, and like 
Uh, dude, I ended his best man speech with San Dimas yeah, High School football, football rules. Oh, see, I know. Because you're a nervous Nelly. What are you going to uh, do? Uh, fucking... Just don't, like, it's like you're having a conversation. And you look out there, and what's the difference between all these people and just you talking to someone? Like, legit. I don't know. Uh, in your head I'm, I'm, there is a difference I mean there are a lot of people who just kind of hang on to every word and like if this guy isn't fucking prolific I'm out of here and yeah. they tune they tune out right away well it's just because I get... and you know what if you go home no one's gonna love you <laughs> love is gone <laughs> if you fuck up that's just it I don't like to I don't know I, I'm automatically at, I'm always at odds this has turned into like a fucking psych- psychiatric yeah this show. is what it is this is what the show has been building <laughs> towards what a what? fucking crazy asshole I am but <laughs> well, I mean I, get, I mean I shouldn't ride my high horse I mean, well it's yeah, because it's like tough. dude I know who I am is I'm just a, a fucking a problem with it I'm a nerdy kid and like yeah. everyone has these weird fucking Not every time I hear kid. something about me like it's fucking like, dude he's fucking like Everyone thinks I'm fucking crazy or like everyone's who like everyone thinks, thinks we're gonna crazy? beat him up. Everyone's who like, everyone, dude, crazy? how many times have I told them intimidating? By who? Everybody. Like, oh, I didn't expect you to be so nice. Well, you do wear the weird muscle shirts. <laughs> you have all the tats. Tats. But beat up, beep up. That's my scat. Yeah, just, take. Trying to word is tats. I try to be polite to people. I try to be nice to people, but you always end up mashing them. Yeah, but I don't at all. No. But it's just I no. don't know. It's just weird, dude. I just have like this weird thing with people well i will tell you i have a fear of muppets really legit. Well, i kind of uh, they their world freaks me out like just the fact like oh man like a whole universe of muppets freaks me out uh, i but, think people in general freak me out i guess so like i feel it's easier to just kind of distance myself from people and put on this facade like i'm gonna kick the shit out of somebody than it is to yeah. talk to them because oh, course, i think that's scary to talk to somebody to okay, let somebody Salinger. try to like get you to know who you are I think giving giving up a part of yourself is harder than to. Leave me a shitty question to ask. What is your favorite novel? 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 Oh. Novel? Uh, Catcher in the Rye. I did read Catcher in the oh, Rye. Yeah. It's fucking. You kids. It's not bad. But... Oh, I'm gonna shit things out. <laughs> it's not all that great. <laughs> I ain't no J.D. Selling. No, just he's a loner guy. No. Whatever. It's just. But... It's just harder to I don't know dealing with dealing with emo, dealing with emotions and dealing with fucking <laughs> you and your human emotion. Yeah, I just rather not deal. Oh with come it. on, you. That, I know this is part <clears throat> podcast speaking, but I mean, yeah, of course we all have emotions. I mean, we have people in our families who we love and hate. We have people who, uh, if something happened to them, we cry. Up. I mean, that's the thing. I think. I mean, it's tough as a dude to cry. As a dude to cry. <laughs> yeah, Bobby's world. No, I mean, it's tough to be like, what the fuck? I mean, can anyone really... I'm due for a fucking breakdown, too, well, by the why? way. I mean, I, I think it's... crying for you would probably be a good idea. Oh, my God, dude. I had, a, I had like, a really close friend of mine pass away last year. Yeah. And, like, at that same period of time, like, my girlfriend broke up and he was, like, madly in love with. So I was just yeah. like, my fucking world just kind of, like, wow. at that particular point, I was just like, well, yeah. I guess I just got to keep on keeping on. Well, I will say, the more you kind of bring this up, it does make you sound like a pussy if you do cry. Oh. Like, you are kind of a fag if you cry and even like gay men would come up and be like what a fucking fag <laughs> fucking, uh, no I Everybody listen man me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, I wish he'd I wish he'd cry and he'd start crying he'd like, what a fag yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, wait a minute <laughs> well, and just a doctor comes in uh, a therapist goes what like, he's Indian obviously what a faggot uh, or a faggot the, from faggot just... from Street Fighter Oh, nice. He cries like a motherfucker. Tiger uppercut. Only one eye because it's milky. Oh shit! But uh, it's just easy. I don't know. I've, it's you, not. I don't want to say it's easier because it's not. But just not. Just putting. Just fucking. That just that shit down. <laughs> well, if you put it in your art, I mean, pain and art. That's what I've been trying much. to do lately. I'm but. just crying out. Fuck it. I mean, I legit. Sense I have a cry it, session every day. Yeah, <laughs> sense a chan. Sense a den. <laughs> Try out sense a den for your dentures and for your crying spurts. <laughs> No, I guess I would recommend anyone just fucking cry. Well, that's the thing is like oh, finding man. a trigger. That's the thing. Like finding something Epic that's going to something no. that's going to initiate it. Like I haven't been able to do that. Like I think a little something I just kind of shut myself off a little bit yeah. like last year when my friend passed away cuz it was it was fucking it sucked. Cuz he murdered. Him. Right. Like, sorry. <laughs> sorry to all his it, friends it, and family. I'm sorry. It fucking it was just a shitty thing and it was just I didn't know how to do it. He was a young it, so dude. Yeah. He was like a, a couple years younger than I think he was like 31, 32. Oh, yeah, roughly. He was your age. Yeah. A little older than so, me. But it's just I don't know, you just, how do you fucking, I don't know, I just don't know how to deal with shit, so it's just easier to keep myself occupied at this point. Well, and here's the, the other argument, people would say, well, people die all the time, you gotta deal with it, and life happens all the time. Well, yeah, and you can put that category as, like, people cry all the time in life, that's how you should deal with it, and it's yeah. kind of a very spiritual look oh, at Oh, there it. is, and there's a reason you do it, because it yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a natural cathartic way for your body to deal with oh, yes. tension and stress. And yep, emotion. it releases a lot of yeah. uh, liquid. 
lot of liquid, <laughs> especially pre cum. Yeah, if you if you're off from your head. head. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, there was. Oh, speaking of, me, I'll end the podcast with this. So, all right. So, I think we've learned to the kids cry, um, go on Craigslist, um, and don't uh, don't you know ask for quotes. And remember, people who try to fuck you is that isn't casual oh, encounters. Yeah. People try to fuck you on deals. Don't let people fuck you in your business. Yeah. Um, I say that with like I don't. I say that as like a, a point, but like yeah. really, I want to fucking drive. I want to really nail that point in because that's. Stand up for yourself and you stand up yeah. for all of us. I mean, that's a big thing too. People undercut each other every, every day. It was day the best tough. thing I ever did was just get out of that because like you really, once you start, like once you learn from something like that, it's like, oh, all right. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, so. I mean, well, that's the thing I'm dealing with right now as far as possibly dealing or joining a local business cartel. I'll call them cartel. Oh, yeah. But it's like an organization. Commerce, yeah. It's similar. It's not necessarily that. But I mean, yeah. it's a large sign-on fee. Like they are charging a lot of money to be a part of it. And I don't know if they... If like you said it best, like they need my services more than I need theirs. Yeah, exactly. And just like it's a give and take, and I have to take a class to do it—a four out of hour that's class. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, it's very bizarre, and it just seems like it's just some sort of bullshit assimilation. Yeah, I was I was looking to join a chamber of commerce myself for a while. I know you said it's different, but it's it's, it's pretty it's much the, the same, same thing. thing. It seems that yeah. And like I went to a few meetings, and it was just kind of nobody really. Everyone just kind of sits around and drinks and eats free food and drinks so it's just like eh, i don't really get what's what's going on here and then, yeah. you know every time i would network, network with somebody it's like they had a service that i really didn't use but you know i'm a graphic designer so someone would hand me a business card and it looks like crap and their logo is yeah. crap so they're like well here's my card this is what i do i can help you with your business and it's like oh cool like you know maybe pass you along to some people it's just and it's just like it doesn't it doesn't seem like it really goes anywhere it's just kind of yeah i mean that's a, i mean do you have to i think networking product. through your through your product or your work is for me, it seems to have been more effective than going out and actually networking. Hmm. But at the same time, there's a downfall to that because you don't really go out and meet people. But if you're if you're doing I think you good have to work, do both. yeah, you I mean, do have to you do have both. To... So, but oh, I guess the other thing, uh, one of the funnier posts I ever read on uh, casual encounters, great place for uh, porno. And you know, if you cats out there want to have, um, you know, a casual encounter, you just want to have a one night stand or do something, that's a good place to start. If you're a gay man in the Massachusetts area, that's probably your place to be. <laughs> but um, uh, one of the ple- a woman was um, she was replying, or she was putting out there in one of the casual encounter posts. Um, I want to make sure you jerk off, meaning the viewer of the post, <laughs> jerk off and have pre come ready to go when you come in. So it's just wow, that's just like well, I mean, it's pretty descriptive. That's a lot of pre come, uh, <laughs> and that's just that's a lot of come. It's a lot to have to live up to. Well, I mean. I get. Uh, what is she gonna do with them? If she looks at it, is she gonna turn someone down if it's not enough pre cum? <laughs> someone like shows up, and measures it. <laughs> yeah, I want at least an inch dangling. <laughs> yeah, Mm-mm. get back. <laughs> oh, there's like five guys just leaving. <laughs> Sorry. And it's just like you know the princess who sleeps on top of the mattress and notices the pee at the bottom. That's a fucking circus. <laughs> ah, well. Circus of weirdos. Well, fuck it. And uh, hopefully next week we have someone else too. Oh, we do ourselves again. Do ourselves again. <laughs> just jack off. Uh, yeah, we'll be here again next week. And uh, if it's us, it's us. Probably in better standing. I'd love, you know what? I'd love to do it while we're having a meal. I think that would be fun. Just eating, chewing yeah. into the microphone? Oh, I think it'd be amazing. I think I'd be happier because I love to eat. I'm a foodie. I'm pretty hungry myself. Can I give me a headache and shit right. right now? Yeah, it really is. Uh, All right, well, uh, take it easy, guys, and uh, oh, we'll we get something to eat. Yeah, we should wrap up with some plugs, shouldn't we? Oh, fuck Or should it. we just fuck it? No, go ahead. Plug okay. away. All right, we get our homeboy JB Sapiens in there, jbinks.com. JB and he's doing a bunch of stuff. He'll have a new music video coming out um, in the next week or two, I think. Yes. For um, Lex, uh, a no, rapper Lex. Yeah, he's really good, too. And Dutch Rebel in the Boston area. Check him out, Lex and Dutch Rebel. Brian Collins, horror movie a day. And Bloody Disgusting. Yep. Uh, that's Brian Collins. And uh, Colleen uh, um, yep, O'Brien. At Colleen, yep, Colleen, at Colleen B on Twitter. Yep. Um, oh yeah, I want to again plug my buddy's uh, movie that he's making, Wayne Shore. Uh, go to Vimeo, do a search for "Single Loaded Chamber" or "Single Loaded Cylinder." I, I'm sorry, yeah. and it's a movie trailer for you, something he's coming out with. And um, do uh, I Hunger Productions? Yep. And um, Same Night Movie Review. Uh, you can check them out on Same Night Movie Review on Facebook, and they're uh, on UStream. They do a simulcast. They do their live uh, via video uh, from New York. Same Night Movie Review on UStream. They're on Tuesday nights at eight. And they, like I said, a Facebook page, and they have a website, samenightmoverview.com, lonelyreviewer.com, Fachi Arabian. I've submitted stuff there before, I think. I forget. I got to, if I haven't already, I forget. It's lonelyreviewer.com. Uh, comically speaking, follow oh, Comically yeah. Speaking. Uh, also follow Sock Talk, the Sock Talk yeah. podcast on Facebook. Yep. Um, 
and we're on YouTube and soon to be iTunes. And um, I don't know. Uh, follow, them, check out my website at asylumstudios.biz. Um, I got a lot of new work I recently posted that I'm kind of excited about. So um, you know, check out my portfolio section, get some new pieces. And um, sorry we ate a dick today. We'll do better <laughs> next time. It was, I think it'll be. Oh, it was pretty fun actually. Uh, all right. Well, guys, take it easy, and we'll uh, check you out later. Later. <laughs> I'm gonna go cry. <laughs>